What's up guys, this is your favorite fanfic YouTuber, the fanfic majesty, and welcome to another amazing video. You can follow me on Patreon for exclusive stories. 5 Ma, Chapter 91 Luchi almost got caught in a face-to-face -face meeting. Open black lens bracket 3 eighths for customization close black lens bracket. Advertisement, a majestic sense of oppression enveloped Luchi's heart. Depressed, Luchi only felt that his body seemed to become stiff, and every cell in his body was squeezed by the overwhelming sense of oppression. Danger. Not good. Lu Qi's pupils stared at the approaching blade, and the six shaving techniques were abruptly interrupted. His body's ability to respond could no longer keep up with his brain's thinking. This knife is too fast. It seems to happen in an instant. The moment Lu Qigong used the six style shaving, appeared behind Leifen, and attacked Leifen. Leifen's counterattack has already begun. Can't hide. On Lu Qi's calm and composed face, the expression changes very violently. Can be caught from his pupils. His pupils showed a rare expression of panic. Yes, as an excellent agent, Lu Qi, known as the strongest CP9 in the past 800 years, felt a little bit desperate when faced with Leifen's current knife. His calm thinking has been gradually distorted. The life and death training that has been honed for more than 10 years has endowed Lu Qi with a strong psychological endurance and his thinking that can calmly think no matter what he faces. However, all of this, when faced with Leifen, will vanish into thin air. Before the blade arrived, the monstrous sharpness squeezed Lu Qi's body in an all-round way, making it difficult for him to move, and his body couldn't keep up with the reaction force of his brain. Watching helplessly, the blade is about to fall. I, will die, Lu Qi had this absurd idea in his heart. With this knife, he is really likely to die. This is no joke. It's not child's play, no doubt. This is the first time in recent years that Lu Qi has had such close contact with death. Since becoming the best agent of CP9 in the past 800 years, Lu Qi has never experienced that kind of crisis that is on the verge of death. This moment, this feeling reappeared in Lu Qi's body again, fully dominating his body. Threats of death, it's been a long time. Lu Qi's face was full of horror, his body was stiff, and he seemed to be motionless. Life returned, shouted loudly, groups of pink hair turned into rattan-like plants, swept across Lu Qi's body crazily, and spread to Lu Qi's body. I see, the blade suddenly stagnated in mid-air and could no longer fall. 151, seriously disturbed by invisible forces. Silence. The atmosphere is weird. The blade, which was close at hand, lingered before Lu Qi's eyes and stopped. Grunt. Lu Qi's throat was dry, he swallowed, and his eyes were full of horror. A trace of cold sweat slid down from his forehead. Life and death line, just a little bit, if you are hit by this knife, even if you don't die, you will be severely injured. Survived. Lu Qi exhaled heavily, and the huge stone suppressed in his heart dissipated. The threat of imminent death just now made Lu Qi feel very depressed. I see. Strips of pink hair formed a bunch of plant vines, spread to Leifen's arms, and tightly entwined Leifen's arms. Kindness. Life returned. It's really interesting. Leifen looked at his hands in surprise. The pink hair seems to have self-awareness, as if it has produced a spiritual wisdom, so that it tightly entangles its hands and wrists, never relaxing. It is these hairs that prevent the falling action of Leifen's blade. It was these hairs that kept Luchi safe. Look forward along the hair. Leifen saw a man who looked like a Peking opera clown, standing five meters away, watching him vigilantly and seriously. The pink hair spread from the top of this person's head. Can you control your hair? Interesting ability. Leifen smiled, disapprovingly. Members of CP9, everyone is unique. But alas, all of this will be meaningless in the face of absolute strength. Advertisement. Go. Kumidori tightly controlled his hair, wrapped it around Leifen's wrists, and shouted loudly, I've already trapped his movements, you guys come on. The words fell. The rest of CP9 members responded one after another and quickly launched a siege on Leifen. The one with the fastest reaction is Luchi standing in front of Leifen. Although his life was hanging by a thread just now, Luchi's mentality changed very quickly, and soon he completely suppressed the palpitations and flustered mood swings just now. As an excellent agent, he naturally has unique means of adjusting his mentality. Six styles. Lu Qi clenched his fists tightly, aiming at Leifen's chest in front of him, power surged from his body, quickly gathered in his arms, and finally spread to his fists. Six King Spear. Boom. Terrifying power instantly erupted from Lu Qi's fists. There seemed to be signs of a faint blue movement in the space. The majestic and violent power exploded from Lu Qi's fists, rushing towards Leifen's chest. Can't hide. Leifen narrowed his eyes slightly, and the emotional ups and downs were not too violent. Feeling that his arms were firmly eradicated by the pink hair, he temporarily lost the ability to use the six style shaving to avoid Lu Qi's attack. The feeling of being besieged is really stressful. Since you can't hide, then fight hard. Just right, I can also feel it. How about the power of six styles? Then, with this thought. Iron body hyphenation point steel. Six styles of iron body motivation. The power gathers, all condensed in Leifen's chest, all the power gathers in the same place, which increases the defense of the body's chest hundreds of times. Boom. Lu Qi's six king spear hit Leifen's chest fiercely. It was like being hit by a hammer, and it was aimed at the chest and smashed down. 
Let Leifen feel that the chest was almost sunken by the huge force, the airflow penetrated the body, and directly impacted the internal organs of the body, and the blood was forced to roll by this force. Moment. The huge force spread from the chest to the whole body. Leifen's body was thrown upside down tens of meters away by the huge impact. At the same time, the pink hair that locked Leifen's arms was also controlled and gradually detached, returning to float next to Kumidori's head. Like rattan plants one after another, breaking out of the ground, possessing self-awareness and spiritual wisdom, and dancing like a group of demons, it is extraordinarily eye-catching. Rumble. Leifen's body hit the corner not far away, and the huge force penetrated the wall on his back from his body, and the dilapidated wall was shaken violently. Click. Click. The wall collapsed, cracking like a spider's web of cracks, and directly collapsed into countless stones, scattered and falling from the wall. Smoke billowed up. For a while, the atmosphere here fell silent again. Luchi. What's the matter? Kaku and Jabra appeared next to Luchi one after another, staring vigilantly at the area ahead, where the smoke and dust billowed. Fine. Luchi heaved a sigh of relief, and said with lingering fear, if Kumidori's life hadn't returned just now, limiting that guy's attack, I would have been seriously injured even if I didn't die. Heard the words. Kaku and Jabra were deeply moved. As strong as Luchi, but just now, he was almost defeated. What a terrifying level of strength the opponent is. Unimaginable. Next, Weiji will take action alone. Because, among us, if any one of us faces him alone, it is very likely that he will be instantly killed by him in an instant and lose the ability to continue fighting. Lu Qi felt heavy. If it wasn't for the timely support from Kumidori just now, he would have been killed by Leifen in seconds. There is no doubt about this. Therefore, Lu Qi came to an unwilling fact. That is, if anyone in the CP9 organization really rushes up to face Leifen alone, there is a very high possibility that they will be instantly killed by the other party. And here, including him Rob Lu Qi, will not be an exception. We understand. Kaku. Jabra and the others nodded with lingering fear. Of course they can deeply feel what a terrifying freak they are facing now. One on one. What a joke. If all CP9 members are dispatched, they may not be able to suppress this monster. As for going solo, what is the difference between this and death? Fortunately, I didn't face this guy alone. Advertisement. He's as strong as a monster. You're only seven years old. Already have such a terrifying level of strength, what a terrifying talent. Lu Qi was very happy for a while. Good thing I didn't get too big. Otherwise, if you face this level of existence alone. Lu Qi didn't think that at that moment just now, he could survive the opponent's blade unharmed. In a one-on-one -on -one situation, Lu Qi no longer has the confidence to defeat Leifen in his heart. The opponent is really too strong. The meeting just now gave Lu Qi a deep understanding. The long-lost threat of imminent death enveloped his body again. Lu Qi has never felt this kind of taste for many years. Today, from a child who was only seven years old, Lu Qi once again felt the feeling of stepping on the gate of hell with one foot. What a pity. This genius monster is about to be destroyed in the hands of RCP-9. If you had chosen to leave before, it wouldn't have been like this. Mr. Leifen, your choice will make you regret it forever. Do you really think that you alone can have the strength to face our entire CP-9? Then you are too arrogant. Lu Qi quietly looked at the ruins in the corner in front of him. Leifen is strong. However, Lu Qi believes that their CP-9 is stronger. Certainly, although Lu Qi's six styles is powerful, he himself doesn't think that this move can instantly kill a monster of Leifen's level on the spot. This battle, now, has only just begun. Everyone is ready. That monster is coming. It seems to have a feeling. Lu Qi's eyes were fixed, and his spirit became highly tense. The rest of the CP9 members cheered up one after another, staring at the ruins in the corner with their eyes focused, not daring to move in the slightest, their expressions cautious and unmoving. Any slack and carelessness. If you are not serious, you will die. Even a guy as strong as Lu Qi was almost instantly killed by the opponent. How can they belittle Leifen? Ruins. Rumble. A terrifying force surged out, breaking through many broken stones around, piece after piece of gravel, flew from the ground and scattered in all directions, hitting the dark corner of the alley. A hand suddenly protruded from the ruins and knocked countless broken stones into the air. Then, second hand, until, Leifen crawled out of the ruins slowly. His body was stained with a lot of gray dust, his clothes were slightly damaged, his hair was messy, and his figure looked a little embarrassed. It's really embarrassing. I actually, will have such an embarrassing day, Li Li Hao. Moreover, it's still in the tiny place of the capital of Seven Waters. Being beaten by CP9 is so embarrassing. Leifen patted the clothes on his body to remove the stains on the clothes. Can feel it. There is a tingling sensation in the chest, spreading to the body. Six styles, indeed six styles. Even though Leifen used the iron body, it was still inevitable that Lu Qi's Six King Spear would inflict a certain degree of injury. But alas, this injury does not have much impact on Leifen. Although it is not a tickle, it will not affect Leifen's next physical state. Looked up. A smile appeared on Leifen's face again, his eyes flickered, and he looked at the seven excellent agents of CP9 directly in front of him, feeling a little emotional. The CP9 organization is indeed a group of seasoned agents. Moreover, they have also experienced many years of mutual cooperation and training, so that their group's cooperative combat capabilities may be more than a hundred times stronger than the Straw Hat Pirates. And this is where Leifen neglected before. 
A, he also used the mentality of treating the straw hat pirates to deal with CP9 in front of him. But the experience just now sounded the alarm in Leifen's heart. Let him understand in his heart. CP9 and the Straw Hat Pirates, after all, there is a world of difference. As far as the ability of group cooperation to fight is concerned, C9 can simply blow up the Straw Hat Pirates. Moment. Throwing away all the thoughts in his mind, Leifen twisted his arm, and slowly raised the samurai sword in his hand. The blade was aimed at the CP9 people in front, and the sharp edge twined around the blade. Flickering. Cold light everywhere. Everyone. Let me tell you in advance, so that you don't have any mental preparations. Next. I'm going to be serious. Advertisement Chapter 92 It's so flashy, it can be broken with one knife. Open black lens bracket 4 eighths for customization close black lens bracket. Advertisement. Depressed. A gloomy atmosphere lingered above Lu Chi and the others. A group of seven people, all the elite of CP9, gathered here. And standing in front of them less than 20 meters away. It's just a very young and immature child holding a samurai sword. He is only six or seven years old, but it is enough to give Lu Chi and the others an endless sense of oppression. He, he actually learns without damage. Lu Qi's pupils shrank, and he stared at Leifen's chest suspiciously. Six styles, can't cause too much damage to the opponent. What monster physique does this guy have? Wrong. And many more. At the critical moment just now, he knew he couldn't dodge it, as if he used Marine Six Styles Iron Body. No wonder. Just now when the Six King's Spear was fired, I felt something was wrong. The power released by the Six King's Spear seemed to be dissolved by the skin of his body, but not all of it penetrated into his body for destruction. Lu Qi quickly figured out the key point. However, when seeing Leifen's mental outlook without major injuries, Lu Qi's mood was still extremely shaken, and it was difficult to calm down. Six styles. Obviously. This guy, like them, Grandmaster Marine six styles. And the attainment does not seem to be low. At least, it doesn't look weaker than them. Be careful. This monster is also Grandmaster six form. Moreover, the attainment is very high, so it may not be inferior to us. Lu Qi took a deep breath, and gave his instructions seriously and solemnly. What? Khalifa and the others standing behind Lu Qi were a little terrified. How many years did they practice before they mastered the six forms of their current attainments? But the Leifen in front of him has only been in contact with six styles for a few years. Even if you start practicing in the womb, it will not exceed seven years. The other party actually mastered the six movements, is it similar to theirs? This is a bit shocking to the world. There is a gap of 733 in talent between people, how can it be so big? This moment, they suddenly understood it deeply. Don't act alone, otherwise, you will really be killed by him. Our greatest advantage is the group action, and the rest will interfere with him. The main force is constantly trying to attack his weak points. Give full play to our strengths and fill our vacancies. Lu Qi is a very good leader. Under his command, everyone in CP9 performs their own duties, and each person is responsible for a different attack direction, so as to achieve a complementary effect and a seamless cooperation. This group fighting thinking and cooperation is what Leifen cannot see from the Straw Hat Pirates. Only this group of outstanding agents, who have been trained for more than 10 years, can achieve such perfect cooperation, impeccable, and almost no loopholes at all. This monster, you have to be serious. Be careful, don't be too careless. We had the upper hand just now, maybe it was just because of his carelessness. Lu Qi frowned tightly, never daring to relax. Although, he thought. In this battle, their CP9 will definitely win. But he will not be so arrogant that he ignores the threat of Leifen in front of him. Leifen, very strong. Among the people Lu Qi has met, Leifen can be said to have left a deep impression on Lu Qi no matter in terms of strength or talent. Only seven years old, but able to fight against their entire CP9 alone. Such a feat, who can follow in the sea? Nobody. There is only one example, standing before their eyes at this moment. This punch, hits right into my heart. It also woke me up completely. After all, I still don't pay enough attention to you. Leifen had an intriguing smile on his face. The monstrous sharpness, released from his body. This moment, Leifen is the real serious state. He put all his energy into it, without any slack, beef, or carelessness, he was highly concentrated and focused, staring intently at CP9 in front of him. Feeling the majestic sense of oppression emanating from Leifen, Lu Qi and the others became even heavier. Majestic. Advertisement. Surging. It's just the aura, but it keeps impacting their fighting beliefs and wears down their fighting beliefs, making them more and more depressed. This guy, now is it serious? CP9's heart sank. Monster. A dark alley, empty and spacious. Tick. Tick. Water stains accumulated on the rusty water pipes next to the corners, which fell from a high altitude. That moment, Leifen made a move. Shave. Leifen's figure disappeared out of thin air on the spot. Leifen, holding a samurai sword, approached Lu Qi and the others at a terrifying speed. In the eyes of Lu Qi and the others, Leifen approaching at high speed seems to have achieved the effect of teleportation. Superior. Lu Qi's eyelids twitched crazily, and he shouted loudly. He's the first to go. I found you. Lu Qi narrowed his eyes. He quickly caught Leifen's figure. Finger pistol Madara. Lu Qi's hands are running at high speed, all the power is gathered at the fingertips of both hands, and the fingertips rush forward rapidly, showing countless afterimages, like bullets, the uncovered original volume of the hail of bullets. 
It is like a downpour, venting down from a high altitude. Every corner is blocked. Luchi's finger pistol, showing a wide range of high-speed attacks. New it. The six moves are in front of you, and the effect will still be greatly reduced. Leifen wasn't too surprised. Every outstanding agent of CP9 is basically a Grandmaster Marine 6 styles, so they are naturally very proficient in the use of Marine 6 styles. And when Leifen casts Marine 6 styles, it is understandable that Lu Qi will see it in advance. I know the tricks of Grandmaster, so I naturally know where the flaws and shortcomings of the tricks are. Facing Lu Qi's finger pistol's crazy attack, Leifen raised the blade in his hand, and Tian Fen lightly blocked it in front of him. The blade collided with Lu Qi's finger pistol, as if the steel plates were rubbing against each other, a dazzling fire flashed, and a terrifying and strong air blast swept across the four directions. It was always you who attacked. Now, it's my turn. Leifen smiled. Raise the blade in your hand. Fight back, start. Not good. Lu Qi was shocked, only feeling a majestic sense of oppression sweeping his body. The strong sense of crisis made his back feel cold and he broke out in a cold sweat. Leifen made a move. With the blade in hand, it is as if you have your own thinking and wisdom, as if you are alive. The katana, turned into Leifen's arm, is manipulated very skillfully. The knife flashes. Before Lu Qi reacted, the blade had already reached the top of his forehead. So fast. When, Lu Qi's expression changed dramatically. Leifen's swordsmanship is too penultimate. Although there are no fancy sword skills, the simplest and purest sword skills are enough to make Lu Qi hard to guard against. Life returned. Tempest kick. Kumidori manipulated the hair, trying to wrap it around Leifen's arms. And Kaku's tempest kick, the blooming cyan slash, has arrived at Leifen's side. The same trick. Want to use it a second time. Then you underestimate me too. Leifen's eyes flashed, watching the pink hair sweeping towards him, forcibly interrupting the sword move that was about to attack Lu Qi. The blade in his hand slashed across. The air seems to be split. The space almost squirmed. This knife is too fast. The cold light flickered. A layer of purple sword energy was wrapped around the blade, which contained extremely surging and violent power. Advertisement. One knife. Swing down. Call out. The purple terrifying slash that was brewing and condensed was released from the blade in an instant. Bright. Dazzling. Shine in the sky. This terrifying slash directly penetrated the forward charge, exuding a violent force that crushed the air. Slash. Aimed at Kumidori. Even the tempest kick released by Kaku, that cyan-colored slashing power, when touched by Leifen's purple slashing, showed huge cracks, and was finally crushed into nothingness. Tempest kick. It was, destroyed in an instant. Kaku's face was full of horror, his eyes widened. The tempest kick he released with all his strength was defeated in an instant. Be careful, Khalifa. Jabra and others looked back in horror and shouted in the direction of Kumidori. Slash, infinitely magnify from the pupil. Kumidori stared wide-eyed, staring blankly at Slash approaching in front of his eyes. Near, it's getting closer. He could feel the majestic and boundless aura of violent power emanating from the Slash, enveloping his body in an all-round way. Body, can't move. Oppression, the overwhelming oppression is squeezing every cell in the body. He noticed it with horror. He couldn't dodge this Slash. This moment, only then did Kumidori truly feel how terrifying the oppression brought by Leifen is. This slash made Kumidori smell it. Threat to hope. Life returned. Kumidori shouted in horror. He hastily urged his pink hair, quickly retracted his pink hair, retracted and floated around his body. And under his control, clusters of pink hair quickly wrapped around his body. Instantly, his body was entwined by pink hair into a mummy-like shape, completely surrounding his body, seemingly adding a layer of indestructible defense. Iron body steel, two kinds of six styles, fully activated by Kumidori. Strength, gathered in every cell of the body, flows in the blood of the body, adding a higher defense to Kumidori. Life return and iron body, 2-6 style superposition. Let Kumidori resist the slash released by Leifen head on. The purple slash burst out with majestic power, and the aftermath of the ground where it passed, the aftermath spread, and the ground was forcibly torn apart to open a series of hideous gaps and cracks. Click, click, the cracks cracked and spread like spider webs. Ferocious, fear, rumble, the ground seemed to be crumbling at any moment. Under the aftermath of the slash, the floor tiles under his feet trembled and shook slightly. Finally, this terrifying slash hit Kumidori's body from the front. Boom. The terrifying slash that emitted dazzling light hit Kumidori's body mercilessly. With a bang, terrifying power swept Kumidori's body fiercely, and the violent power contained in the slash was fully released, and all of them exploded in an instant. Pink hair, brought back to life by Kumidori, wrapping his own body like a mummy. But in an instant, life return manipulated the layer of defense formed by the hair, but was torn apart by Leifen's slash without any hindrance. Boom. Moment. Slashing the violent power of the bloom, it tore Kumidori's pink hair wrapped around his body on the spot. The so-called return of life. The so-called means of defense. When faced with the slash released by Leifen, all of these will appear weak and vulnerable. For a moment. Total shreds. The gaudy means have been broken since the day of the knife. Advertisement Chapter 93 Double Defense. Kumidori in seconds. Open black lens bracket 5 eighths for customization close black lens bracket. Advertisement. The berserk power penetrated instantly to the pink hair that wrapped Kumidori, wrapping this layer of hair like a mummy, penetrating and tearing it abruptly. In front of the power of slashing and exploding. 
The so-called defense. Vulnerable. Easily shredded. The defense wrapped in pink hair was broken in an instant. The blooming power carried a destructive and terrifying aura, penetrating and spreading through Kumidori's body, eroding rapidly from the front of his body. Boom. The majestic force eroded Kumidori's body. Life returned. Destroyed in an instant, Kumidori's pupils shrank, his face full of shock. He could feel very clearly that a surging force like a storm, like an ocean current was eroding his own body in an all-round way. First destroy your own skin. The clothes were directly crushed and turned into crumbs. The tingling sensation extends from the front of the body to the whole body. What? Kumidori was in pain, and the heart-wrenching pain enveloped his body, spreading rapidly from in front of him to every corner of his body. Such as piercing pain, the return of life is broken in an instant. There is still the last defense, protecting Shang Naiju's body firmly. Twee, six forms of iron body. All the strength of the whole body gathers on the surface of the body skin, forming a defense similar to steel, firmly sticking to the surface of Kumidori's body. Seemingly, indestructible, but this is so, when the slash released by Leifen defeated Kumidori's life and returned, it directly pierced his body. As for this so-called iron body, in the face of Leifen's slash, iron body is useless. Not to mention the iron body of the six styles that use the strength of the body to condense all of them. Even real steel would be vulnerable to Leifen's slash. Therefore, Kumidori's so-called iron body of six forms, at best, can only offset part of the power of Leifen's slashing attack, but cannot block all the power. Boom. The force continued to erode Kumidori's body. Iron body, is broken. The iron body, which was formed from the whole body gathered on the surface of the body, appeared extremely fragile in front of the power of the slash, and was easily torn apart. Ah, ah, the intense sting made Kumidori howl unbearably. His eyes were bloodshot, his face was distorted, and he was suffering from extremely painful torture. Huge force pierced through Kumidori's chest. Puff. His entire chest was forcibly split open with a hideous gap. Blood splattered, danced in midair, and fell on the soil under this side's feet. Skin torn. Broken sternum. It can be said that the injury is very serious. Also, the huge force penetrated from the front of Kumidori's body, knocking his whole body back tens of meters away, and his whole body flew upside down in the air. Boom. Finally, Kumidori hit a dilapidated building. The wall, which was originally covered with a lot of moss, disintegrated directly under the impact of the huge force. Rumble. The whole building ushered in violent shakes and tremors. The wall was penetrated, and Kumidori's whole person penetrated into the wall, and the whole person was buried directly below by the many wall fragments scattered above. Advertisement. Smoke billowed up. Even the floor tiles under his feet seemed to be trembling slightly under the violent impact just now. Carve. The atmosphere returned to silence again. All members of CP9 stared wide-eyed and looked at the direction where Kumidori flew upside down with horror on their faces. For a while, everyone's throat was dry, beyond words. B. B seconded. Kaku opened his mouth, feeling wildly shocked. Myself. Read that right. Kumidori, was instantly killed by that guy. Do not. He was hit by a slash. Also. This slash also collided with the explosive power of the Tempest Kick he just released. After defeating the Tempest Kick, this terrifying slash still swept across Kumidori's body with majestic power. And, also Kumidori on the spot second. This made Kaku feel shocked, and his heart was extremely frightened. Comparing them in this way, the gap in strength is even more obvious. A slash from Leifen first defeated the Tempest Kick released by Kaku with all his strength, and then penetrated Tempest Kick and hit Kumidori. But even so, the remaining power is still enough to instantly kill Shang Naochu. This made Kaku unimaginable. If this slash had not been weakened by his Tempest Kick in its heyday, how terrifying would it be? Think about it. Kaku was terrified and shuddered. Life returned. Torn apart instantly. It's completely unstoppable, the terrifying power released by this slash. Jabra's throat rolled and he swallowed, looking horrified. Even though Kumidori used the return of life to fully wrap his body to form an indestructible defensive wall, he was still torn to pieces by the slash. Who would have thought of this? At last, not only the return of life is torn apart. Even Iron Body was directly destroyed. Khalifa's beautiful eyes widened and rounded, her pretty face turned a little pale, and her delicate body trembled uncontrollably. A slash smashed three Marine Six styles. First up is Kaku's Tempest Kick. Then there is the return of Kumidori's own life. And finally Iron Body. Three defenses, still unable to stop this slash from Lema. Finally, Kumidori, instantly killed. To date, none of them can be sure that Kumidori is still alive. Too strong. Odanashi Fukuro swallowed his saliva with a panicked expression on his face. He came across it for the first time. A monster enemy powerful to this level. Have you been seconded? Lu Chi was stunned, his eyes slightly lost. One knife. With just one cut, Kumidori was killed instantly. It was still in front of all of them, so that they couldn't parry at all, let alone stop this slash, and could only watch helplessly, the scene of Kumidori being instantly killed. Advertisement. Gap. The huge gap between the two sides made Lu Ji feel very deeply at this time. The power gap is too big. As strong as Kumidori, the strength can be said to be among the best in CP9, but it is still inevitable to be killed by the monster on the opposite side. Call. Exhaling heavily, Lu Chi still couldn't calm down, his eyes fixed on the young figure standing not far away holding a samurai sword with horror and fear. 
asking for flowers. Although they were young and immature, they endowed Lu Qi with an endless sense of oppression. Depress them. Their shoulders seemed to be heavily suppressed by huge stones, making their movements a little stiff, and their steps slow and slow. This monster, it's unbelievably strong. Lu Qi's mood became more and more heavy. Especially the thought of it. At such a young age, the other party has such a terrifying level of strength. This made Lu Qi completely unimaginable. If you give the other party a certain amount of time to grow, with the other party's astounding terrifying talent, given time, how strong can it be? Everyone assemble. Prevent. Be broken one by one. Lu Qi's face was serious and solemn. One order. Kaku, Jabra and others moved closer to Lu Qi, staring at Leifen's figure with apprehension and trepidation on their faces, with focused eyes, not daring to move to share. So spooky. The scene of Kumidori being killed in an instant is still lingering in their minds, which will impress them for the rest of their lives. Zero. Anyway, one of the members of CP9. To know. Not every member of CP9 has gone through numerous selections, stood out from thousands of people, and experienced countless trials of life and death before finally joining CP9 and becoming a qualified and excellent agent. Kumidori is no exception, but it was such an excellent agent, but he was killed by a knife. This naturally shocked the rest of the members of CP9, and at the same time, their hearts were gradually dominated by fear. Everyone is a CP9 agent and has a very deep understanding of each other. Kumidori's strength is obvious to all. Can be as strong as Kumidori, but was instantly killed by a knife. How does this make them face the existence of killing Kumidori with one blow? The atmosphere has become depressing. Weird. Pairs of eyes full of deep fear were fixed on Leifen in front of him, unable to move. Easy solution. Leifen slowly withdrew the katana in his hand, turned around, and looked at Luchi and other CP9 members with a smile on his face, with a playful expression on his face. Successfully solved a troublesome guy. In the next battle, I don't have to worry about being disturbed. Similar to the return of life, the restraint ability that can make the hair full of life is very effective in group battles. Therefore, Leifen chooses the first object to solve, which is Kumidori. Get rid of Kumidori, and you don't have to worry about being disturbed by the opponent's hair next. Since the biggest obstacle has been successfully removed. Then next, it's your turn. Leifen narrowed his eyes slightly, and his voice spread slowly. Kumidori received a slash from Leifen head on, and now lives or dies. Even if he didn't die, he must be seriously injured, lying dying in the ruins. That is, it wasn't even minutes before Leifen was alone and fighting broke out with CP9. One of the main combatants of CP9 has been eliminated by Leifen in the simplest and most brutal way. Of the current CP9 members, there are only six left with certain combat power. Advertisement Chapter 94 CP9 is the strongest in 800 years. That's it. Open black lens bracket 6 eighths for customization close black lens bracket. Advertisement. The battle situation is changing too fast. Lu Qi and the others were completely unpredictable. In the battlefield of less than a few minutes, they had already lost a top combat force with relatively high strength. The battle broke out within a few minutes, but they lost one member. What is this concept? They dispatched a total of seven people from CP9, and now one of them has been directly killed in a second. So far, life and death are still uncertain, but obviously they can no longer intervene in the next battlefield. It's only a few minutes away. It was still killed by the monster on the opposite side when their group joined hands to besiege. Not one-on-one, -on -one, but gang fights. Even if it's a group fight, the other party will be defeated in an instant. Be careful. That monster. Coming. Lu Qi's heart was heavy, and his pupils were filled with depression. Kumidori is second. If you are not careful in the future, there will definitely be a second person who will be killed in seconds among them. Strong as a monster. It's unbelievable that this guy is only seven years old. Kaku clenched his fists tightly, and a dark and dark psychological shadow wrapped around his heart, which could not be erased. At only seven years old, they are enough to compete with their entire CP9, seemingly evenly matched. This kind of freak is standing in front of them at this moment. If they hadn't witnessed and experienced it with their own eyes, of course they would never have imagined that such an unimaginable monster actually existed in this sea. So horrifyingly mundane. Shave. That moment. In their eyes, Leifen's figure disappeared in place. 643. Disappear out of thin air. No sign. Quick. Too fast. It was so fast that Luchi and others couldn't react. Disappeared. Kaku gasped. His pupils turned quickly, trying to catch Leifen's figure. Stand by his side. Jabra. Khalifa, and the others all worked up their spirits one after another, their spirits were highly concentrated, their bodies were tense, and every cell was under great pressure. Tempest kick. Kaku's eyelids twitched and caught a phantom in front of him. Immediately, he swept forward with one foot. Cyan's power, similar to a slash, was swiftly thrown out from his right foot. Call out. The Cyan slash released by Tempest kick sliced through the sky, tearing the air as if torn apart, and pierced through the front sharply with a piercing sound. It's a pity that what hit was just a mass of empty air. Boom. The cyan slash pierced through a dilapidated building not far away. The sharp cutting force directly pierced through the surface of the wall, piercing into it instantly like cutting through a thin tofu. The entire building was forcibly cut with a slanted gap, and a huge damaged wall that was cut was tilted sideways from a high altitude. Rumble. A large stone slammed hard on the floor tiles, and there were deafening bangs, and the ground under the feet seemed to be trembling like an earthquake. 
The atmosphere is depressing. The icy air wrapped around the bodies and minds of Lu Qi and the others. They didn't dare to be careless, and stared at the surrounding environment with both eyes. Back to back, the six of them formed a formation that could be attacked, retreated and defended. Instantly, right in front of Lu Qi, the figure of Leifen appeared slowly. From tens of meters away, it seemed to appear in front of Lu Qi instantly. It's like teleporting, almost to ultimate. Finger pistol. Lu Qi's pupils shrank, and his expression changed dramatically. He didn't have too many words, the power surged from his body rapidly, and all of it rushed to his arms, gathered in the fingers of both hands, and the fingers of both hands turned into steel, stabbing continuously in front of him. Like a downpour, it bends from a high altitude. The overwhelming finger pistol turned into bullets and swept across Leifen in front of him. I said it before, the same trick, don't use it a second time. You really don't have a long memory. Leifen's eyes twinkled and he smiled playfully. With a sideways movement, he easily dodged Lu Qi's overwhelming finger pistol attack. The samurai sword in his hand was slowly lifted by him. Sharp blade, flashing cold light. A faint smell of blood emanates from the blade, sweeping in all directions. Danger. Not good. Lu Qi's face changed dramatically, trying to back off and keep a safe distance from Leifen. But Leifen is too fast, close. Let Lu Qi, there is no way to hide. Superior. Advertisement. At this time, only then did Kaku and the others beside Lu Qi react, their eyes were full of horror, their hands and feet moved very swiftly, without any muddling. Shave. Moonwalk. Kaku immediately shaved and tried to get close to Leifen. Jabra stepped on the moonwalk and had already vacated the position above the Thunderbird's head. Air door. Bluno slowly opened an air door, and the whole figure disappeared in place. The moment he opened the door again, he was already behind Leifen. All directions, all besieged. All CP9 members are dispatched together. Do it. Lu Qi suppressed the throbbing in his heart, and hurriedly drank. Finger pistol. Iron body hyphenation point spike fang. Body door. Kaku, Jabra, and Bluno attacked Leifen at the same time. Eyes turn. Leifen naturally noticed that these three people had appeared around him, and launched a very fast and fierce attack on him. However, he did not flinch. The blade in his hand seemed to be born with wisdom, held by Leifen in his hand, and turned into a flexible arm, slashing in all directions while shining light. Boom. 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 The attack of the three at the same time was easily resolved by Leifen. The blade in his hand stopped Kaku and Jabra very simply. Iron body. I can do it too. A smile crept across Leifen's face. The strength of the body emerges and gathers on the right foot. Then, he suddenly kicked Kaku in front of him. Not good. Kaku's face changed slightly, and he was trying to avoid it. Can't escape. Leifen is so fast. Boom. This kick hit Kaku's waist fiercely. Puff. Kaku was full of energy and blood on the spot. Vomited blood, his eyes were wide and bloodshot, his facial features almost became distorted, and the tingling sensation spread from his waist to his whole body. The entire waist ribs seemed to be crushed. Sting. The heart-piercing pain made Kaku unable to bear the pain and howl. At the same time, a huge force passed from his waist and enveloped his body, knocking his whole body tens of meters away, hitting the edge of the dilapidated building wall behind him. Rumble. There were loud noises from the whole building. The floor tiles under his feet seemed to be shaking and shaking constantly. The dilapidated building endured the impact of Kaku's body, and the aftermath of the explosion quickly cracked and spread in all directions, quickly destroying the building. Pieces of broken wall fragments slanted and fell sideways from the high altitude, and fell to the corners in all directions. For a while, the smoke and dust billowed, and the attack rose. And Kaku's figure was already buried in that cloud of smoke and dust. Kaku, have you been seconded too? Lu Qi was shocked. Damn it. Jabra withdrew his shocking eyes and attacked Leifen again. Kill. Bluno also reacts very quickly. You are responsible for interfering with entrapping his actions, and I will attack. Lu Qi ordered immediately. Clear. Jabra and Bluno properly distanced themselves from Leifen, staring at Leifen intently with killing intent and coldness on their faces. One on one. It's not that I underestimate you, can you really do it? Leifen looked at Lu Qi in front of him with a smile. The blade in his hand shone coldly, bringing endless pressure to Lu Ku and the others. Compared to Leifen's marine six styles. Obviously. Leifen's superb swordsmanship is what makes them value it. Leifen's sword skills are too high. Let Lu Qi and the others completely fail to keep up with Leifen's sword skills. If it was just pure marine six styles, they certainly wouldn't be in such a mess. But on the basis of marine six styles, Leifen still has such proficient sword skills, which is completely different. Shave. Lu Qi disappeared instantly. Next second. Advertisement. He appeared beside Leifen. I see you. Shave. Actually, I can too, and I'm a grandmaster. Maybe, the attainments are much higher than yours. Leifen smiled. His figure disappeared in place. Before Lu Qi's attack was launched, he abruptly stopped. Looking at the area where Leifen disappeared in place, his eyelids twitched crazily. A strong sense of crisis swept through every cell in his body. Behind. Shouted loudly. Lu Qili turned around swiftly, without the slightest doubt or hesitation, his fists closed together, all the power emerged from his body, and condensed in the fists of both fists. Six styles. Six kings spear. Boom. Terrifying power erupted from both fists. The surrounding space seemed to usher in signs of weak movement. Lu Qi stared at his eyes tightly. 
As predicted, the figure of Leifen stood in front of Lu Qi, and faced Lu Qi's signature six king gun head on again. But at the moment, Leifen did not panic, but calmly raised the samurai sword in his hand, the blade shone coldly, and placed the blade horizontally in front of him. Raise the knife and cut it off. Hum, the purple sword energy is wrapped around the blade. Gathering strength, constantly brewing and concentrating. Then, he was instantly released by Leifen. Slash, forced out from the tip of the knife. The berserk power found a breakthrough, and all of them crazily rushed straight ahead from the tip of the knife. Call out. The terrifying and dazzling purple slash directly aimed at Lu Qi's body and slashed fiercely. At the same time, slashing and Lu Qi's six king spear, the two forces had friction and collision. The moment I was touched by the slash, Lu Qi's six king spear was directly shredded. The shock wave released by the six king spear was completely crushed by Leifen's slash and turned into nothing. The gap between the two forces is too great. Thereby, Lu Qi's six king spear was completely defeated by the terrifying power contained in the slash released by Leifen, and swallowed up this power to strengthen himself. Just like, big fish eat small fish. How can that be? Lu Qi's face was full of shock, his eyes were bloodshot. Slashing the shining light, the pupils of his eyes magnified infinitely. Glaring. Exclamation mark. Bright. The magnificent slash 1.2 hits, getting closer. Six styles. Crushed in an instant, Lu Qi doubted his life on the spot. The overwhelming light bloomed from the slash, and finally engulfed Lu Qi's body completely. Under everyone's shocking eyes, I see. Boom. With a loud bang. Lu Qi's sternum was shattered, and a hideous and terrifying bloodstain was split across his entire chest. The blood splashed all over the sky and scattered in all directions. Puff. Blood was thrown and splashed from high above. The smell of blood drifted into the air. The huge force penetrated Lu Qi's body, knocking him flying hundreds of meters away. At last, Lu Qi hit the edge of the dilapidated wall. Rumble. A strong shock wave spread from Lu Qi's body, spreading back to the wall, smashing the wall in an instant, collapsing countless broken stone fragments, sliding down and falling down. In a blink of an eye, Lu Qi's seriously injured body was completely buried under the broken stones. Smoke billowed up. This place has been reduced to ruins. Look away. Holding the samurai sword in his hand, Leifen quietly looked at the ruins where Lu Qi fell, with a look of surprise on his face. Immediately, he couldn't help shaking his head and laughing. I heard that Lu Qi is also known as the strongest agent of CP9 in the past 800 years. Result. Is this the only way? What a disappointment. Advertisement Chapter 95 single-handedly, almost destroyed the entire CP9. Open black lens bracket 7 eighths for customization close black lens bracket. Advertisement. CP9 is the strongest in 800 years. That's it. After a face-to-face -face meeting, Leifen instantly fell in love. This time, Lu Qi was really beaten, not almost. Without anyone interfering, Leifen dealt with Lu Qi with ease, without any threats or pressure. Although it is not known whether Ludge was seriously injured, but he suffered a terrifying slash from Leifen from the front. Presumably, even if Lu Qi is not seriously injured, this knife will definitely cause very huge damage and influence to his physical state. As for the Six King's gun, this power has long been swallowed up by the slash released by Leifen. Trying to block Leifen's slash with the Six King's spear. This is simply a joke. The insignificant shock wave of the Six King's spear is not even worthy of Leifen's slashing boots. So, without anyone interfering, one on one, Lu Yu will really be met by me in seconds. This is not just my illusion. Leifen looked playful, looking at the place where Lu Qi flew upside down. The feeling before, did not go wrong. This is not. Lu Qi, he was indeed instantly killed by him. The so-called CP9 has been the strongest for 800 years, and it is only this level. This point surprised Leifen more or less. Actually, Lu Qi is not weak. But it is too exaggerated to be called the strongest CP9 in the past 800 years. If even Lu Qi can be the strongest in CP9. So, 14. What kind of trash are the CP9 members in the past generations? From here alone, Leifen can imagine. I am afraid that the overall strength of the previous CP9 is not even as good as that of ordinary elite marines. If I let you know, I have been exposed to swordsmanship and marine six styles for less than a week. Those of you who have been killed by me in seconds, how would you feel? Leifen thought jokingly. These people, I am afraid that the world view will collapse. Being killed by a person who only used one week of cultivation. Of course, it will face the fate of mental collapse. A dark alley. The atmosphere here suddenly became silent. Depressed. Everyone in CP9 looked horrified and terrified, their eyes widened and rounded, and they stared dumbfounded at the shocking scene just now, which happened in front of their eyes. Lu Qi, unexpectedly got caught in seconds. How can that be? Really was second. Instead of almost. This time it really happened. This is Lu Qi. Their CP9 is the strongest in 800 years. He was praised by all the high-level officials above him as the best agent of CP9 in the past 800 years. Whether it is strength, our character, wisdom, means and other aspects, Lu Qi is impeccable, becoming the strongest of CP9. But such a powerful Lu Qi, at this moment, was actually given a second. This makes Jabra and Khalifa how they can accept it. This is too scary. Grunt. Jabra's throat was dry and he couldn't help swallowing, his hands showed signs of trembling. With his steady mind, when he saw the scene in front of him, 
he couldn't help but feel a deep sense of fear in his heart, and this feeling of fear spread uncontrollably throughout his body. Luchi, you got caught. Khalifa's pink lips moved slightly, trembling. Advertisement. The overwhelming oppressive feeling squeezed every cell in her body, making it impossible for her to hide the fear in her beautiful eyes and fully dominate her body and mind. In her eyes, Lu Qi is the most powerful existence. Not just the strongest of CP9. Even looking at the sea, he is definitely one of the top powerhouses. Never thought about it, today. But she saw the scene where Lu Qi was instantly killed. The scariest thing is that, Lu Qi, was given a second by a seven-year-old child. That's right, only seven years old. It can be done unexpectedly, kill Lu Qi instantly. What an incredible thing is this, even if it is a group of well-informed and excellent agents. At this time, they couldn't help but reveal the shocking emotional fluctuations in their hearts. The emotional ups and downs were as violent as the surging waves of a storm, surging wave after wave, unable to calm down. One knife. Yes, that monster only produced 10,000. Then, Lu Qi couldn't resist and was instantly killed. This this, Odanashi Fukuro's lips trembled, and the fear on his face had completely surfaced. Lu Qi is the core character of CP9's soul. Whether it is personality charm or strength, all CP9 members are impressed. But what did they just see? Lu Qi, you got caught in seconds. The soul and core of CP9 were instantly killed by someone. This naturally caused an unusually strong visual impact on the rest of CP9 members and also subverted their emotional ups and downs. Their worldview is about to be shocked and collapsed by the scene in front of them. Tick, tick, the eerie atmosphere, the water stains overflowing from the rusty iron pipes, splashed down from high altitude. The pleasant voice lingers in all directions. There was a slight breeze. Cold. The biting coldness made Kaku and the others feel goosebumps all over their bodies. They could only feel the chilly wind blowing, and their bodies trembled uncontrollably. Quote dash dot 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 quote. Second. Luchi. The shock wave generated by Luchi's six king spear was completely disintegrated by this slash, and it was even like a drop in the ocean, swallowed by that terrifying force. It can't be stopped at all. Of course Jabra and the others saw it clearly. It was Luchi who used the six king spear first, and then Leifen swung a slash. Never thought about it. Lu Qi's six king spear would be crushed by such a sharp method. Totally unstoppable. The levels of the two forces are completely different. This will present a situation where the shock wave brought by the six king spear is directly swallowed up. So far, Kaku and the others' moods are still fluctuating violently, the shock is filling their hearts, and the fear is sweeping their bodies. Looked up. They can see it. Standing less than ten meters in front of them, the short and young figure holding a samurai sword was looking at them, looking at where they were. Panic. Trembling. Many negative emotions were fully ignited in the depths of Kaku's heart. This, this monster, Jabra, who has always been conceited and arrogant, and has very proud confidence in his own strength, now looks a little pale and frightened. He's only seven years old. Advertisement. Khalifa pink lips move slightly. She felt some signs of weakness in her legs. Terrible. The monster in front of me is so strong that it is not human. At the age of seven, Luchi was seconded. What kind of terrifying talent and strength is this? It's really, really, a terrifying existence. Bluno's tone was weird. But from his tone, one can still clearly capture the deep sense of fear. How strong is Lu Qi? Of course Bluno knows all about it. Even as strong as Lu Qi, he was instantly defeated. What kind of existence are they facing in front of them? This moment, when Lu Qi was killed, the surviving CP9 members realized it even more deeply. The seven-year-old standing in front of them. The other party, how different is it? Incredibly strong. When all members of their CP9 were dispatched together to cooperate with the siege. But the other party was still not hurt by them. Instead, members of their CP9 were killed in seconds one after another. At first, Kumidori, one knife second. Up to now, the life and death of the other party are still uncertain, but they have obviously lost their fighting power. Second, there is a card library. If you get kicked and fly, you will be caught in seconds. The injury may be much better than Kumidori's head on stabbing, but Kaku's state will definitely decline in a straight line, without the peak combat power of his heyday. The third one is Lu Qi. The power bloomed by that terrifying slash swept across his body, and he was sent flying hundreds of meters away, crashing into 840 and smashing a building on the spot. These three are among the best in CP9, but they were quickly killed one after another. This naturally made the surviving Jabra and Khalifa deeply fearful. CP9's top combat power has been disintegrated into two parts. How does this allow them to deal with the next battle? The strongest Luchi was defeated. Kaku, who ranked second in terms of strength, was also taken by the second. The life and death of Kumidori, who is among the best in strength, is even more uncertain. Now, there are only four remaining members of CP9. Jabra, Khalifa, Odanashi Fukuro, Bluno. But of course they do. Adding up the four of them, the overall combat effectiveness is far inferior to that of Luchi and Kaku. But both Luchi and Kaku were killed in seconds. How can the remaining four of them turn the tide of the battle? Think about it. Jabra felt more and more stressed. Khalifa's pretty and dignified face completely faded away, her delicate and flawless face became pale, seemingly bloodless, and looked extraordinarily weak. How to fight this? Deep timidity and apprehension arose in Jabra's heart. 
CP9 used to have seven people, but until now, the battle has only passed for about ten minutes, but there are still only four people left. And, of the remaining four, three of them are at the bottom of CP9. Khalifa is more of a civilian than a combatant. What kind of posture will they use next to face this terrifying existence that can easily kill Luchi and Kaku in seconds? It's too tragic. There is no doubt that the battle CP9 is facing today is the most tragic battle that CP9 has ever faced in recent years. Alone by the opposite side, almost completely crushed in a crushing way. The scary thing is, this guy who was about to destroy their entire CP9. He is still a seven-year-old boy. Advertisement Chapter 96 Piercing Iron Body with One Knife. Spike Odanashi Fukuro. Open Black Lens Bracket 8 eighths for Customization Close Black Lens Bracket. Advertisement. Cold. The biting coldness made Jabra's scalp tingle. His eyes were full of horror, and he stared at the young figure in front of him holding a katana sword, and the fear in his heart was infinitely magnified. The dark alleys, many dilapidated buildings, and the fragments of the walls cracked and fell, causing ruins of different sizes to appear here. Lu Chi, Kaku, Kumidori, the three are lying under the ruins. How to do? Khalifa's pink lips moved slightly, and her beautiful eyes looked at Jabra with fear. Nowadays, only Jabra is left with a certain combat power. How the hell do I know what to do? Jabra couldn't help but curse in his heart. Lu Chi was caught in seconds. That means, the backbone is broken. Next, how do they face the monster in front of them? This terrible monster who is only seven years old. The opponent beat Kumidori, Kaku, and Luchi one after another. Obviously, this strength is definitely not something that their surviving people can compete with. How to face it? Anyway, Jabra's mind is in a mess now, and he can't think of a plan that can be used to solve the current situation. A hint of despair lingered in Khalifa and their hearts. They are a little desperate. Thought, when all CP9 members are mobilized, they can be confident and win. They didn't really realize it until now. The person they faced was a freak with terrifying strength. Even if all members of CP9 are dispatched, it will not help. Instead, even being alone by the opponent, they easily defeated their entire CP9. It's over, it's over. Odanashi Fukuro's throat was dry, and his face was trembling with fear. Lu Chi, the sole core of CP9. Even Lu Chi has been defeated, how can they fight against the enemy in front of them? This is the existence that can instantly kill Lu Chi. We, perhaps really shouldn't provoke this monster. Bluno lowered his voice, his tone low. But saying this now is useless. There is no medicine for regret in this world. What's the point of saying that now? Jabra growled angrily. His mentality has gradually moved towards the brink of collapse. He has always been deeply confident in his own strength, but when faced with the situation in front of him, he can feel the boundless sense of oppression and despair, entangled in the bodies of all of them. They can't even dream of it. One day, they will be wiped out by a child who is only seven years old. Although the group has not yet been destroyed, they are still there. Next, there is only one possibility to meet their results. They will die, killed on the spot by this seven-year-old monster with fierce means. Just like the other party instantly killed Luchi and Kaku, they will definitely not be an exception, and it is even more impossible to stop this monster from attacking and killing. The other party cheated. This is the first time. This is the first time for CP9 to face such a tragic and desperate situation. In recent years, CP9 has been going smoothly and has never suffered such a tragic defeat. Never thought, when encountering the first defeat, it is in this tragic way. One person dies, a seven-year-old child easily smashed their entire CP9. If they hadn't experienced it personally, they certainly wouldn't dare to imagine such unimaginable horrors. What should I do? What if I escape this disaster? Thoughts in Jabra's head turned wildly, but no matter what, he still couldn't think of an accurate and implementable plan that could save them from this disaster. This is a huge catastrophe. A catastrophe for the entire CP9. What is terrifying is that the chief culprit of this catastrophe is the seven-year-old child in front of him. At this time, Leifen slowly withdrew his gaze, turned around, held a samurai sword, and looked at Jabra and other remaining CP9 members with a smile on his face. The four people watched by Leifen turned into ice sculptures, and their whole bodies became extremely stiff, as if they were motionless statues, and they dared not move at all. Oppression. The overwhelming oppression swept over their bodies. Grunt. Advertisement. Jabra's throat rolled and he swallowed, suppressing the panic in his heart. It's your turn. Leifen had a playful expression, and raised the blade in his hand, aiming at Jabra in front of him. Moment. The terrifying aura was fully released from Leifen's body, sweeping all directions. Soon, Jabra and others were enveloped by the majestic breath released by Leifen, squeezing every cell in their bodies. Make them tremble, panic, and apprehensive. Okay, what a terrifying aura. Khalifa's pink lips moved slightly, and her delicate pretty face turned pale and pale. Her delicate body was trembling, almost going to the side to be paralyzed. Khalifa produces one for the first time. It turns out that CP9 doesn't feel strong. Among them, the best agents among thousands of people are actually not as powerful as she imagined. Because, it was almost completely destroyed by a child who was only seven years old. Is this CP9 still the invincible CP9 in my impression? It's so weak it seems vulnerable. But Khalifa knew it. It's not that they are too weak, but simply that the enemy they are facing at this moment is too strong. 
Although he is only seven years old, this strength is definitely among the people Khalifa has seen, and he can be regarded as a top-notch powerhouse among the best. Come closer. Jabra's tone sank. Khalifa, Odanashi Fukuro, and Bluno approached one after another, staring at Leifen in front of them with apprehension and fear. Odds are good enough, but they can only do their best to prevent them from being wiped out today. Silent atmosphere. Soon, this atmosphere was directly broken. Because, Leifen made a move, shave, Leifen's figure disappeared instantly. Next second, he stepped on the moonwalk and used the six-style shaving to teleport above Jabra's head. So fast, Jabra's pupils shrank, his face full of horror. Too late to react, all he could see was the samurai sword in Leifen's hand falling slowly. Sense of crisis. A strong sense of crisis flooded Jabra's body. Stiff. Jabra's body became extremely stiff and dull, as if a huge stone weighing a thousand pounds was heavily suppressed on his shoulders, restricting his ability to move. Hide. Must dodge. Otherwise, I might die. Jabra has an unprecedented sense of crisis. His senses have always been sharper than Lu Qi and the others, and it is precisely because of this that his premonition of danger is much, much stronger than ordinary people. Therefore, when Leifen launched the intention to attack, Jabra already felt that the trembling cells in his body were beating wildly, constantly harbinger. Next, he will suffer a very terrifying attack. Very likely, he was killed on the spot. Jabra's eyelids twitched wildly, and he quickly performed the six-style shaving. Shave. Moment. The figure of Jabra also disappeared. Thereby, the formation that they had just prepared to advance, attack, retreat, and defend was broken without warning. Twi, Jabra, who abandoned Khalifa and the others, chose to escape alone. Not good. Khalifa's beautiful eyes widened, obviously not expecting Jabra's behavior. Just choose to escape alone. What about the lineup? How about moving forward together? Emotion. I and others were directly abandoned. Khalifa was stunned on the spot. Her thinking became extraordinarily rigid, her pretty and delicate face was stupefied, her pink lips parted slightly, but she was unable to speak for a while. Here, what's the situation? Go. Bluno took a deep breath and put his hands under his feet. Advertisement. The fruit of the door can be activated. Then, the ground with both hands attached turned into a circular gate. Bluno quickly grabbed Khalifa's shoulders and pulled Khalifa and him into the door under his feet. The floor tiles under his feet, the door was pushed open, revealing a dark house. And just when Bluno was about to reach out again and pull Odanashi Fukuro into the door, Leifen's blade has been slowly chopped off. Damn it. Bluno gritted his teeth and abruptly withdrew his hand. He can only give up the current action, otherwise he will be hit by this knife. Then, Bluno stared at the helpless Odanashi Fukuro with a face full of unwillingness and palpitations, and immediately led Khalifa into the door without hesitation. In situ, only Odanashi Fukuro is left. Alone. Looks so lonely. Bleak. Very poor. It was as if it was a pawn abandoned by everyone. I, I ride a horse. Odanashi Fukuro widened his eyes, looking at his friends who had gone to the sky. A sense of bleakness emerged from his heart. Fear. Boundless fear squeezed his body and pierced his heart. It's fine if Jabra abandons them and chooses to escape alone. Can anyone explain it to him? Why did Bluno choose to flee with Khalifa, leaving him alone to face the attack of the monster in front of him? It's over. This is the end of the calf. Odanashi Fukuro's eyes were full of fear, staring blankly at the blade that was getting closer. He just feels. In the whole world, the colors have become extraordinarily dim, turning into black and white, without any color. The breath of death is getting closer. The blade gleamed coldly. A faint smell of blood spread from the blade. The air temperature here seems to have plummeted a little. Odanashi Fukuro shuddered all over, feeling the coldness sweeping through his heart, making his skin crawl all over, watching helplessly as the blade in Leifen's hand cut off. Iron body steel. The last critical moment, Odanashi Fukuro gritted his teeth, risking his life to mobilize the power of his whole body, all the power gathered on the surface of the skin of his body, as if forming an indestructible armor like steel. Let his body's defensive power soar in a straight line, reaching the peak state in an instant. Wong Dezhao, they all escaped. Then you can only blame yourself for being unlucky. Poor guy. Leifen looked at Odanashi Fukuro with a strange face. Abandoned guy. Really. Pitiful. With such a mood, the blade in Leifen's hand showed no mercy. Cut it down with one knife. Condensed the purple slashing sword light, wrapped around the blade, and released it instantly. Odanashi Fukuro's body was hit on the spot. Boom. With majestic and violent power, he sprints in an all-round way, like a surging ocean wave, hitting Odanashi Fukuro's body wave after wave. Block me. Feeling the tingling pain in his body, Odanashi Fukuro gritted his teeth, forcefully activated the iron body of the six styles, trying to block this terrifying force from outside his body. However, he still seriously underestimated. How could the power contained in Leifen's slashing attack be blocked by the iron body of the six forms? Not to mention that he is not yet a grandmaster enough for the six forms, even if Luchi uses the iron body of the six forms, it is impossible to completely block the terrifying slashes released by Leifen from the front. Comma. Moment. Odanashi Fukuro's body was pierced by this slash. From the front, when it was pierced through forcibly. Iron body. Knocked out on the spot. The power of the slash was like a torrent, fully venting towards Odanashi Fukuro's body. Visible to the naked eye. Odanashi Fukuro had a hideous bloody hole in his abdomen. The slash directly penetrated his body. 
Puff. Blood stains the sky. Bloodline is flying all over the sky, like goose feather drizzle, slanted and sprinkled from the sky. Advertisement chapter 97 fully dominated by fear. Khalifa's legs are weak. Open black lens bracket 1 6 for customization close black lens bracket. Advertisement. Blood, from the wound on Odanashi Fukuro's body, spewed out crazily and sprinkled high above the sky. The blood in the sky is like a bloody butterfly, dancing lightly. Blood stained the sky, dripping down. Like a drizzle of goose feather, it falls at an angle and infects the floor tiles on the ground. The pungent and strong smell of blood bloomed right away, floating in all directions with the breeze here, completely blending into the air in this area. The violent power penetrated Odanashi Fukuro's body. Even though he used the iron body of the six forms, it was still unavoidable to be pierced by Lathan's slash on the spot, instantly crushing the one-star defense brought by the so-called iron body. Six types of iron body. In front of Lathan's slash, it looks extremely vulnerable. Like a piece of pale white paper, it was easily torn apart. Odanashi Fukuro's body is like this blank sheet of paper, in front of the surging power of the slash, his body will inevitably be pierced on the spot. On his chest, a huge and hideous bloody hole appeared. From the chest, all the way to the abdomen. There were bloodstains about half a meter long, and the blood crazily overflowed from the wound, gushing out, soon completely soaking his body and clothes. Sting. The piercing pain spread throughout the body. What? Odanashi Fukuro howled in pain. He can feel it. The vitality of my body is weakening at a terrifying speed. Blood spurted from the wound in front of him and spilled onto the floor tiles under his feet. In a blink of an eye, the place where Odanashi Fukuro stood was already soaked in blood, as if forming a narrow lake. The smell of blood was particularly strong and pungent, drifting into the distance with the wind. The terrifying slash that penetrated through Odanashi Fukuro did not stop because of this, but cut through the sky all the way, toward the air, and finally hit the dilapidated building directly behind Odanashi Fukuro's body. Moment. Boom. A loud bang, like thunder rolling, resounded through the sky. The sky seemed to be torn apart. Deafening. Like thunder. It's like, indigenous Earth 40 ushered in the most terrifying earthquake. The whole space seemed to be shaking. This terrifying slash not only pierced Odanashi Fukuro's body, and even sprinted backward with the remaining strength, it was still able to easily penetrate this building. The building lost its supporting pillars, and it leaned sideways and fell rapidly. Rumble. The building shattered on the spot, fell to the side street, turned into countless wreckage fragments, splashed and scattered in every corner, raising waves of thick fog and smoke. The floor tiles under his feet trembled and shook violently. Click. Click. As the building collapsed, the aftermath of the impact spread to the floor in the distance. The ground was broken into cracks, and the cracks spread farther like spider webs. The dilapidated alley is extended by the dilapidated landform full of cracks. A large cloud of dust was lifted up by the airflow and flew into the air. One look. Many dilapidated buildings on both sides of the alley and in the depths have been damaged to varying degrees, and there are also many ruins of different sizes, piled up in different corners. This battle turned this dilapidated place into wreckage and chaos. Smoke everywhere. Broken and pierced everywhere. Countless wall fragments were scattered in the dark area. Tick. Exclamation mark. Odanashi Fukuro's body overflowed with bloodline, dripping bloodline slipped down from his body, soaking his clothes completely. Bloodline fell to the broken floor tiles under his feet, accumulating more and more, just like the stagnant water that existed in the dark alley. Crunch. On the dilapidated wall next to it, a round door-like object suddenly appeared, which was pushed away strangely from the inside. Yes. On the wall, a door appeared. A gate that resembles a circle. Inside the book, push it away. Advertisement. This weird scene happened right now. I see. After the weird door was pushed open. Bluno took Khalifa with him, and the two of them walked out of this door, their faces full of lingering fear, and their expressions were full of emotional waves of fear. After stepping on the ground again, Khalifa's mood calmed down a little. Her beautiful eyes were filled with a strong sense of fear, and it was difficult to completely calm down the ups and downs of her mood. Danger. It's too dangerous. Just now, I was almost killed in seconds. No doubt. This is the first time for Khalifa to experience such a situation. On the brink of death. It's real close to being wiped out. As a civil servant, although Khalifa's strength is not bad, but in many cases, she doesn't need to kill the enemy herself. The matter of killing the enemy can be handed over to Luchi and Kaku. And today, CP9 is the first full-scale dispatch to obliterate an unstable factor. The essential, CP9 was dispatched in an all-round way for the first time, but ended in failure. Luchi was instantly killed. Kaku and Kumidori were killed one after another. The only remaining ones that still maintain combat effectiveness are Jabra and them, who are not the main members of the CP9 battle. How does this allow them to face the enemy in front of them? This is a monster that can instantly kill the main combat personnel of CP9. How can these non-combat support personnel fight against it? The moment he was cut off by Lathan's blade just now. Khalifa thinks. She must die. She was devastated at the time, and she had completely lost hope. Fortunately, Bluno made a move, which saved her from death. But even so, the remaining fear in Khalifa's heart never weakened. The fear and despair that Lathan brought to her still haunt her to this day. Who will deal with this kind of monster? Us. It is impossible for a CP9 to defeat this monster. Khalifa's face was full of panic, and countless thoughts flooded into his head. 
She has been fully dominated by the fear brought by Leifen in her mind and body. X. This enemy is so strong that it makes people tremble. This is the first time that Khalifa really experienced the feeling of being enveloped by death. Unlike Lu Qi and Kaku, she has experienced countless life and death trials. As a woman, she does not need to go through those life and death trainings. She only needs to learn how to lurk, how to learn to deceive, etc., and doesn't need, Befa, to kill some targets by herself. Her main function is to lurk to the enemy's side, to inquire about the enemy's information at all times, and to transmit it. Therefore, when approached by Lathan's blade, Khalifa's entire head became blank, and his body also lost the ability to respond, so he froze in place. If it wasn't for Bluno, Khalifa, apparently dead. It was cut open by a knife. Khalifa, what's wrong with you? Bluno noticed Khalifa's abnormality. No, nothing. Khalifa shook his head quickly, his eyes still had a deep sense of fear. Turn, her beautiful eyes stared at Jabra who was not far away, full of anger. If it wasn't for this guy who suddenly chose to escape alone, she would naturally not have experienced the danger just now, where she was almost killed in seconds. Can't blame me. Jabra took a deep breath, and fear also filled his heart. Advertisement. If he doesn't hide, he will surely die. To live, he had to choose to escape alone, leaving Khalifa behind them. If I don't escape, then the dead one is me. Now Odanashi Fukuro's fate is my fate. Jabra had lingering fears, his body was trembling, and his eyes were full of fear, staring at a place not far away. At the same time, Khalifa, Bluno and the others also looked at the spot they were in just now. I see, Odanashi Fukuro was covered in blood, the blood spilled from his body, and had soaked the floor tiles under his feet completely, forming a small blood-colored lake. This scene fell into Khalifa's pupils. It made their faces full of horror, their faces pale and bloodless, and their bodies trembling. Fear, once again magnified infinitely. I-T-E, F-T-E. Khalifa's pink lips moved slightly, and her hair trembled. Dead. When the gods come, they can't save them. Bluno swallowed, and looked at Odanashi Fukuro with horror in his eyes, the hideous scar in front of Fukuro's body, his face was full of fear. The body has been directly pierced. Even if the gods come, it is impossible to save Mu Fukuro back. Dead, dead, Khalifa's legs were weak, almost paralyzed to the ground. Tick, tick, bloodline, falling from the wound on Fukuro's body. So tired, Odanashi Fukuro only felt that his eyelids were getting heavier and heavier, as if being heavily suppressed by a heavy stone, which made him unable to keep his eyes open. His eyelids kept closing, but he forcefully opened them again. But after all, eyelids are too heavy. Odanashi Fukuro closed his eyes. Then, the breath of life in his body completely disappeared. Dissipate completely. Thump. Odanashi Fukuro fell. His body fell towards the small lake formed by his own blood, and his whole body was quickly soaked in the bloody lake. Died. Odanashi Fukuro, killed by Leifen on the spot. And he also became CP9 smoothly in this battle. The first person to be definitively dead. The rest, such as Kumidori, Luchi, and Kaku, are actually still alive and dead, and it is impossible to accurately determine whether they are dead. Only Odanashi Fukuro, who can already judge with 100% accuracy, was completely buried in this battle, and his body fell in this dark alley. There was a slight breeze. The cold corpse fell on the small lake. The pungent bloody smell wafted in all directions. This scene, in the eyes of Jabra, Khalifa, and Bluno, goosebumps rose all over their bodies, the biting coldness rose from the soles of their feet to the sky, and they trembled uncontrollably. Killed in seconds, if I hadn't been saved by Bluno just now, then the dead. It is me, Khalifa was in a panic. With the same idea as Khalifa, there is Jabra. He also thought that if Guo Gai hadn't been caught in time at that time, he didn't think he would have survived that knife. Then the biggest possibility is, he will be just like Odanashi Fukuro right now. Killed instantly by Lathan. Advertisement Chapter 98 Despair. The terrible nightmare that envelops CP9. Open black lens bracket 2 sixths for customization close black lens bracket. Advertisement. Dark alley. The walls on both sides are dilapidated and stained with moss, and the water pipes hang from the walls. Due to the interference of dark and humid environmental factors, the water pipes were rusted and slightly damaged, and the water stains overflowed and slowly fell down from the water pipes. There was a slight breeze. The pungent and strong smell of blood spread in all directions from this dark street. Let the three of them, Khalifa, Bluno, and Jabra, be able to smell it very clearly. This pungent and unpleasant smell makes them want to gag. The air temperature, as if in a straight line, dropped. Cold. The biting coldness gave Khalifa goose bumps all over his body and his scalp was numb. The three of them stared at the corpse lying on the small blood-colored lake directly in front of them with horrified and horrified eyes, unable to move their eyes, and were in a daze. Fear. Heart attack. Odanashi Fukuro is dead. This is something they never expected. Jabra chose to escape in advance and abandoned his teammates, so he was able to save his life. As for Khalifa, Bluno used the door fruit to avoid Leifen's knife. Only Odanashi Fukuro. No one cares. Thereby, Odanashi Fukuro could only face it from the front, abruptly trying to block the terrifying slash from Leifen. The result is obvious. He lost. His so-called defensive power, in front of Leifen's slash, looked extremely fragile and unsightly, it was completely crushed and torn in an instant. In the end, he was instantly killed with a single knife and reduced to a cold corpse. 
This is the first definite death of CP9 in this battle. Odanashi Fukuro. It can be said that he blocked this knife for us. Jabra's throat was dry and he was panicked. His character is suspicious by nature. Like a wolf, he is very arrogant, but he is also very cautious in many cases. Seeing Odanashi Fukuro's death, Jabra could of course imagine that if he hadn't escaped at that time, then the object reduced to the cold corpse now is definitely himself. Can I block that knife? Jabra couldn't help but have the idea. Finally, he draws conclusions. Can't stop it. Yes. It's impossible to block that knife. Don't say it's me. Even Luchi and the others can't stop it. Jabra shook his hands slightly, trembling all over. If Luchi and the others could stop it, it would naturally be impossible for them to be killed instantly. To sum it up, Jabra was sure. At present, in their entire CP9, no one can fully resist the young monster in front of him from the front. Not to mention Jabra, even Kaku and Luji can't do it. If it were me, it will also be killed in seconds. There will be no second possibility. Thinking of this, Jabra's mood became more and more panicked. He didn't know what a terrifying monster they provoked this time. A freak who was only seven years old, but enough to easily destroy their entire CP9. This moment, this kind of existence was actively provoked by them. The atmosphere is silent. Weird. Khalifa took a half step back, her pretty face was pale and bloodless, and she stared fearfully at the young figure holding a samurai sword. Terrible. This monster is not something they can contend with. Bluno, can I leave? Khalifa's beautiful eyes turned, and she looked at Bluno with hope and longing. When needed, Bluno pondered for a moment, then told the truth. He wants to make a door connecting further places, and it will take a certain amount of time to prepare. If someone can stop that monster, he can try to make this door. But here comes the problem. Now, who can stop this monster? Khalifa, is it possible? Of course not. With Khalifa's strength, at most one face-to-face -face meeting will kill him in seconds. On this point, Bluno can come up with the answer without thinking about it. Advertisement. As for Jabra, it is possible to stop the opponent for a moment, but it is only for a moment. How long? Khalifa opened his eyes slightly in despair. One minute, Bluno answered with a heavy tone. One minute, Khalifa's pupils shrank. In normal times, one minute is certainly not long, but in this case, let alone one minute, even one second would kill them. What are they going to do to stop that monster for a minute and get Bluno to set up a door? Can't stop. Don't say stop for a minute. Even if it is 30 seconds, or even 20 seconds, 10 seconds. Neither Khalifa thought that she and Jabra could achieve such absurd things. Gradually, Khalifa is desperate. Her pretty face reveals a fluctuating expression of lovelessness, her face is ashen, her eyes are full of fear, staring at Odanashi Fukuro's body on the ground, and then at the young figure holding a samurai sword. Grunt. Khalifa swallowed, the fear in his heart magnified infinitely. Tread tread. The sound of footsteps suddenly echoed in Khalifa's ears without warning. At this time, she suddenly raised her head and stared at a certain direction. As predicted, what she was most worried about and feared the most happened after all. That monster. He was holding a knife and walking towards her step by step. The distance is getting closer. It's over, it's over. Khalifa's pink lips trembled. She has been completely dominated physically and mentally by unprecedented fear. Her legs are weak, her body is trembling, her courage and faith have almost all collapsed. Superior. Bluno looked at Jabra, the two looked at each other, gritted their teeth and nodded heavily. Escape. They don't think they can escape. If that's the case, then you can only fight to the death. Shave. Air door. Jabra disappeared instantly. But Bluno directly opened a door in the air and directly entered the air door. At the same time, Jabra appears on the back of Lathan's head. Iron body hyphenation point wolf foot. Jabra quickly activated the iron body of the six postures, the power of the iron body emerged from the body, gathered on the right foot, and Jabra's right foot smashed wolfishly towards the back of Lathan's head below. Boom. Gently lifting the samurai sword in his hand, Lathan placed the blade behind, blocking Jabra's kick very lightly and simply. Let Jabra just feel like kicking a steel plate, unable to shake, let alone store in. At the same time, in front of Lathan, a door suddenly opened in the empty air. It's Bluno. Bluno pushed open the air door and appeared in front of Lathan. Finger pistol. Gathering the power of two fingers, Bluno instantly attacked Lathan at close range. What a devil fruit ability. The only pity is. It has found the wrong owner. Lathan glanced at Bluno who suddenly appeared out of thin air from the corner of his eye, feeling emotional, not panicked, but very calm. Facing Bluno's attack and killing, Lathan seemed to have a premonition, turned sideways in advance, and resolved all Bluno's attacks without any risk. Make it impossible for Bluno to touch the corners of the clothes, even the hairs. Can't hit at all. This guy, the speed is too fast. Response nerves and other aspects are almost impeccable. Bluno's heart sank. While coping with Bluno's attack, Lathan still suppressed Jabra on the other side, which made Jabra feel pressured and sweated violently on his forehead. Damn it. Jabra's eyes were bloodshot, and he was shocked and confused. Asking for flowers. Your sixth style, you have to go back to the furnace and rebuild it. Advertisement. Lathan slowly raised the blade in his hand. Cut off. Call out. The terrifying slash directly penetrated the sky and arrived in front of Jabra. Shave. Jabra's figure disappeared in place. Boom. 
The berserk force of the slashing attack penetrated the place where Jabra was originally standing, bombarded the soil under his feet, swept tens of meters away, tore the ground, and ran through this side. Rumble. The entire ground trembled and shook violently. Next second, Jabra appeared out of thin air ten meters away. The moment he appeared, a cold breath swept over his body. The hairs stand on end. Creepy. It's like the feeling of being stared at by a beast. Stiffening Jabra's body, he twisted his stiff neck and tried to turn around. Catches the eye, Lathan's figure had already stood on his back at some point. The cold air instantly rose from the soles of Jabra's feet to the sky. When, Jabra's face was full of shock. With one kick, his pupils magnified infinitely. Lathan swept across Jabra's chest, hitting him hard in the front. Boom. The terrifying force pierced through the chest, causing Jabra's eyes to widen, and blood to spit out from the mouth, as if the entire chest was torn apart, and the tingling sensation spread throughout the body. Broken sternum. The heart seems to be displaced by a kick. The internal organs were damaged to varying degrees by this kick. What? The tingling sensation spread from his chest to his body, and Jabra wailed unbearably, howling in pain, his expression distorted and became extraordinarily ferocious. His body was impacted by a huge force, and he quickly flew backwards into the distance, like a kite with a broken string, directly flying backwards hundreds of meters away. Finally, Jabra slammed into the broken building, collapsing it directly, burying his body in the rubble of broken stones below. Rumble. The wreckage of the broken wall began to fall from a high altitude, raising smoke and dust billowing up, hitting the ground fiercely, shaking and trembling the smashed ground. Put away the blade in your hand. Lathan turned around, looked at Bluno and Khalifa meaningfully with his eyes, a playful smile appeared on his face, and he spoke slowly. Now, it's just the two of you. CP9. It seems that these guys are weak and vulnerable. I just started getting serious. These so-called outstanding agents all fell down one after another. And most of them were instantly killed by themselves on the spot. No challenging spike. This moment, an overwhelming atmosphere of despair enveloped both Bluno and Khalifa. It seemed to be extremely difficult for them to breathe, and their faces were pale and bloodless. Even their hearts seemed to be tightly suppressed by a heavy stone, almost about to stop beating. This experience, whether it is Bluno, or Khalifa, is a first-time experience. It's too tragic. It was the first time that CP9 was beaten into such a tragic and desperate situation. They dare not even dream. As strong as the CP9 organization, one day, it will be crushed by a child who is only seven years old with absolute crushing attitude from beginning to end. This is unbelievable. It's too shocking to the world. But it's such a scary and horrifying thing. It's happening in front of them right now, and let them experience it for themselves. This, this is, nightmare. Khalifa took a few steps back in fear. Everything I have experienced today must be a nightmare. A terrible nightmare covering the entire CP9. If it's a nightmare. I hope I can wake up soon. Khalifa couldn't help crying three in panic and wailing. Advertisement Chapter 99 The gangsters of the Frankie family were scared to pee. Open black lens bracket three sixths for customization close black lens bracket. Advertisement. Suddenly, Lathan's footsteps stopped abruptly. Rumble. With a burst of sound from unwilling to come out, it attracted Lathan's attention. Turned. He couldn't help looking at the ruins not far away, with a surprised expression on his face. The ruins were broken open by a terrifying force, and countless stones were blown into the air and scattered in all directions. From the ruins, a hand protruded. Then, the second hand, stick out from the ruins. Gradually, Kaku crawled out from the ruins, covered in blood, his clothes looked torn, his hair was messy, his body was stained with blood and dust, and his figure looked particularly embarrassing. Ahem. Kaku coughed violently, vomited blood, his face was pale and bloodless, his breathing rhythm was very chaotic, and his many injuries were very obvious. Tingling, still a dull pain in the waist. Ribs, at least several are broken. Do not, not broken, but crushed. Kaku gritted his teeth, resisting the tingling pain in his waist, thinking in his heart. This kick is too ruthless. Kaku. When Khalifa and Bluno saw Kaku crawling out of the ruins, their eyes were happy at first, and then they seemed to think of something. The joy in their eyes turned into bitterness and despair at a speed visible to the naked eye. Kaku isn't dead, but what's the point? Could it be? Let Kaku, who is seriously injured, fight against that monster. 257. Let alone Kaku who was seriously injured, even in his heyday, Kaku could only be killed by that monster. There's still no hope. Desperate emotions entangled in Khalifa's heart. There was a slight breeze. The pungent smell of blood came to Kaku's sense of smell. His eyes were fixed, and he looked at the corpse on the ground in shock, without any surprise in his heart, the violent ups and downs were like surging waves. Odanashi Fukuro, have you been killed in seconds? Seeing the bloodline all over the ground, Kaku's heart became more and more heavy. No doubt, he wouldn't doubt that now Fukuro was dead. 563, this is the first time for Kaku to see the corpses belonging to their CP9 members. Unexpected, the first one to die will be Odanashi Fukuro. We made a wrong move. I shouldn't have provoked this monster. Kaku was full of regret. Rumble. Another bang. There was a loud noise from a ruin. The broken stones were directly crushed by the force, and turned into countless wreckage fragments, which fell to the corners of the walls in all directions. I see. Lu Chi crawled out from the ruins. His injury is more noticeable than Kaku's. Can be seen very clearly. 
On Lu Qi's chest, there was a ferocious bloodstain that almost tore his entire chest, and the blood still spilled out, completely soaking his black suit. The whole front of him seemed to be completely split open. Call, call. Just crawling out of the ruins, Lu Qi's breathing rhythm was very chaotic, his face was pale, and his thin body was full of fatigue and heaviness, as if he might be crumbling at any time. Spitting out a mouthful of pus and blood, Lu Qi's face turned even paler. The pain spread from the chest to the body. But this tingling sensation is still within the range that Lu Qi can bear. Advertisement. After calming down a little, Lu Qi raised his head and looked at the battlefield ahead. Then, his eyes then focused on Odanashi Fukuro's corpse. Did you get caught? Compared with Kaku's shock, Lu Qi's emotional ups and downs were not too violent. Even he can be second. Who among the other CP9 members can skip this catastrophe? Regarding Odanashi Fukuro's death, Lu Qi did not show much emotion. This time, I really miscalculated, the level of strength of the enemy. My fault. Lu Qi looked up at the sky and couldn't help but sigh. Miscalculated the strength of the enemy, and led to the annihilation of the entire CP9 army. No doubt, at this moment, even Lu Qi doesn't have any confidence to turn things around. This round, lost, lost in a mess, fiasco. The entire CP9 was defeated by a child who was only 7 years old. How horrifying is this? It's just like a dream. If he hadn't experienced it himself, Lu Qi would never have imagined in his dreams that CP9, which gathered countless excellent agents, would be wiped out by a 7-year-old child. If this gets out, who would believe it? A 7-year-old child, the group wiped out their CP9. To know, every member of their CP9 is the best agent selected after thousands of selections. But even so, the organization that gathered so many outstanding agents and elites was inevitably and easily destroyed by a child who was only 7 years old. Luchi, how are you doing? Kaku walked to Luchi's side, covered in blood, with a heavy face. I can't die for a while. Luchi was expressionless, as if subconsciously ignoring the tingling pain in his body. Do you want to make a last stand? Kaku's eyes flickered, and he exhaled heavily. No choice. Luchi stepped forward, dragging his heavy body, approaching Leifen in front of him step by step. After noticing Lu Qi's movements, Kaku gritted his teeth, completely suppressed the heaviness, depression, fear and many other emotions, and also took steps to follow behind Lu Qi. The two dragged their painful bodies, trying to make a final desperate fight. Khalifa, if you can escape, run away. Bluno turned to look at Khalifa. K.R. Khalifa opened his mouth. Before Khalifa could respond, Bluno stepped forward without hesitation, and had a round with Lu Qi and Kaku. The three of them looked at Leifen with seriousness and seriousness on their faces. By contrast, Leifen, whose clothes are only stained with a little dust, is undoubtedly in much better condition than Luchi and Kaku who are covered in blood. Do you want to make the last fight? Then I don't mind, let you get what you want. Leifen narrowed his eyes slightly. Shaking his arm, he raised his samurai sword slowly. Sharp blades, flashing cold light. A faint ray of sunlight sprinkled from the sky, penetrated down, and was printed on the blade. The smooth blade was like a mirror, reflecting the halo to illuminate the dark alley. The atmosphere is depressing. Tension. The final battle is about to break out. Khalifa, on the other hand, stood outside the battlefield, his face pale, his body trembling, watching the battle that was about to break out almost precariously. At the same time, the other side, a dark alley corner. I don't know when. Here, several people dressed in strange clothes appeared. They hid in the corner, staring at the battlefield ahead with shock and fear on their faces. They had noticed the violent movement here before, and they arrived at the scene after hearing the news. Advertisement. Then, they saw it, the series of fierce battles and collisions just now. Those scenes, presented in their eyes, made them feel extremely shocked and horrified, almost overturned by the scene of the battle in front of them. Big, big sister head. I am not wrong, right? That six or seven year old brat, by himself, defeated the entire group. A young man who has been watching the movement of the battlefield wears sunglasses, his face is full of shock and fear, and his lips are trembling. He has an identity and is the captain of the Frankie family. He called. Thanks. That's right. These people are all from the Frankie family. As for why they appear here, that's purely because the headquarters of the Frankie family is relatively close to this location. When they felt such a strong movement erupting here, they naturally couldn't suppress their inner curiosity, so they rushed to the scene to observe. It is precisely because of this. Only then did they and their group see such an earth-shattering duel in front of them. This is incredible. They can't even dream of it. A child who is only six or seven years old can fight against the entire group of men in black by himself. And the group of men in black on the opposite side is not weak, but very strong. But even so, they were still suppressed and retreated steadily. It's so, so scary. I always feel that in this battle, the strength of each of them is much, much stronger than Brother Frankie. The two women with explosive heads blurted out in panic. They are twins, they look exactly alike, one named Kiwi and the other Maz. Also from the Frankie family, as the big sister head of the Frankie family. In their impression, Frankie's strength is very strong. But it is as strong as Frankie, if placed among these people in front of him, it is simply weak and vulnerable, it is not a level of comparison at all. The scariest thing is, among the men in black, I saw Lu Qi, Kaku, Khalifa, and Bluno, the owner of the tavern. They all know each other. Also, their strength is actually so terrifying. 
Why is that? Their hidden identities seem to be very mysterious and terrifying. The tone of praise became more and more terrifying. He always feels. At this moment, they seem to have noticed some kind of extremely secret shocking truth. Lu Chi and Kaku, the best shipbuilders in shipyard number one, possess such a terrifying level of strength. There is also Khalifa, the secretary of Shi Chong Bingshan, who is so familiar with Lu Chi and Kaku, obviously they are from the same power group. Even Bluno, the owner of the tavern, shows his mysterious side. These many discoveries made them realize that things have become extraordinarily 1.5 weird. Let go of all these thoughts. What makes Zanbai the most terrifying is that child who is only 6 or 7 years old. With Lu Chi and Kaku being so powerful, they finally chose to team up to besiege and kill the kid, but the kid turned defeat into victory. With a crushing attitude, Lu Chi and his group were defeated. What kind of terrifying level of strength is this? He looks like he's only 6 or 7 years old. Where did this monster come from? Zanbai and other Frankie family gangsters felt their legs go weak and trembling at the moment, and they were almost scared to pee by the things in front of them. All kinds of things that happened here overturned their cognition. Let their worldview face the fate of collapse. First, Lu Chi, Kaku and the others, as well-known shipbuilders of the Carrera Company, suddenly transformed, and their strength became very terrifying. Khalifa, the secretary of Shi Chong Bingshan, and Bluno, the owner of the tavern. All of them, at this moment, revealed their hidden mysterious and terrifying identities, as if they all came from the same organization and power group. Then, it was this mysterious and terrifying organization and power group that was beaten and maimed by a child who was only six or seven years old from beginning to end with absolute pressure. This series of incredible things happened. It is true that they are shocked by Zanbai. Advertisement Chapter 100 Intervention. A figure with a chill all over his body. Open black lens bracket four sixths for customization close black lens bracket. Advertisement. In fact, the gangsters hiding in the corner of the dark alley have already been noticed. Whether it is Leifen, or Lu Chi, Kaku and other members of CP9, they have long seen this group of little mice hiding in the dark watching the battlefield. As for why he didn't take the initiative to respond. It's purely because these little mice are too weak. Weak enough for Leifen and Lu Chi to choose to deal with them at all. In their view, this is just a waste of time. Certainly. If the matter is resolved smoothly, Lu Chi and the others will of course clean up any traces, but for Lu Chi and the others at present. The biggest problem is not to get rid of these little mice, but how to survive from the monster in front of me, this is the top priority. It is also the biggest dilemma they are currently facing. Not dead. This will not make this battle boring. Leifen looked at Lu Chi and Kaku who were approaching step by step with a smile. It's good if you don't die. I haven't played enough yet. How could this game come to an end so quickly? Bluno, you take Khalifa out of here. Lu Chi looked serious and ordered solemnly. You guys, are you sure you can stop him for a minute? Bluno had a weird expression. Heard the words. Neither Lu Chi nor Kaku replied. It's not that they don't want to answer, but they don't have the courage to answer. Stop Leifen for a minute. Just think about it. Chances are very low. If both of you died here today, even if the rest of us escaped from the battlefield, what can we do? If you are dead, the plan will declare a complete collapse. The plan we have planned and prepared for five or six years will be completely declared to have ended in failure. That way, let's not say we can't forgive ourselves. The people above us alone won't allow us to survive 14. To them, any failed product is useless. They will send better personnel to recycle the failed product. And for us, the situation may be even more severe by then. It's better. Fortunately, we will fight to the end today. Bluno's thinking is very clear. Exactly as he said. As an excellent agent of CP9, it is natural that the absolute primary purpose is to complete the mission. Even if the task is paid, it is necessary to ensure that the task and plan can be implemented smoothly. If the task fails, their lives will naturally become worthless. In particular, the tasks they are currently performing are closely watched by countless big bosses above, and they look forward to them deeply, thinking that they will be able to complete the corresponding tasks. If at this critical moment, the task is suddenly failed by them. They are totally predictable. What a consequence to meet them. Five or six years of plans, in vain. This is not just an investment of time, how many resources have been prepared to invest in each of them for this plan. Once failed, the consequences, even Bluno can't imagine. 100%, they will be torn to pieces by the people above to vent their anger. You're right. Kaku laughed and shook his head bitterly. Really, as Bluno said, for them, the mission failed, and they died here today, there seems to be no big difference between the two. Anyway, once the mission fails, the people above will never forgive them. CP9 speaks glamorously, and holds real power, with the world government standing behind it, driving unscrupulously, and can ignore all power groups. But in fact, they CP9 are just pawns in the eyes of the people above. Once they are useless, they will be discarded directly. At that time, there will be better people to replace them. And they will become eliminated. What awaits them is endless pursuit. Those high-ranking people above will not let them, who know too many secrets, survive. Therefore, they will become waste products and be frantically obliterated for waste recycling. Then fight. Lu Chi's eyes shone brightly, resisting the stinging pain of the hideous scar in front of him, his pupils were full of cold eyes, staring at the young figure directly in front of him. Depressed, an overwhelming sense of oppression swept across his body. 
By his side, Kaku also endured the pain in his body, dragged his heavy body, and was scarred by many injuries, staring at Leifen in front of him. As long as you don't die. Advertisement. This battle is not completely over. Superior. Lu Chi made a move. At the same time, Kaku also stepped forward. Shave. Moment. The two disappeared at the same time, and appeared on the left and right sides of Leifen with lightning speed. Air door. Bluno pushed open an air door, stepped into the air door, and his figure completely disappeared in the original area. As long as he wants, he can use the fruit ability to open the door anywhere. Even if. Air. He can also open doors on air. Tempest kick. Finger pistol. Kaku and Lu Chi flanked each other from left to right. In between. Leifen held a samurai sword, with a smile on his face and a slightly disappointed expression. Too slow. It seems that your state is no longer at its peak. When dealing with you now, it always feels like I'm bullying you. T. Let this game usher in the real end. A slight sideways. Leifen dodges Kaku's tempest kick. The cyan slash passed by Leifen's side, piercing through the floor tiles under his feet, sending out bursts of violent tremors, and a hideous gap was pierced through the entire ground. At the same time, Leifen raised the samurai sword in his hand and blocked the finger pistol from Lu Chi. Boom. Boom. The collision between the blade and the finger pistol is like the friction between steel and steel, flashing dazzling fire. Coping with Lu Chi's attack, Leifen seemed extraordinarily relaxed and unstressed. At the same time, open the door. Bluno suddenly opened the door above Leifen's head, and revealed a head with hair-like horns, reaching out to grab Leifen's head. Air, showing the door being pushed open. This weird trick is hard to guard against. As for Bluno, his body was hidden in this cloud of air, only a head and hands were exposed, and he was about to restrain Leifen's movements. Kindness. While Leifen was dealing with Lu Chi's attack, he noticed Bluno above his head out of the corner of his eye. Door fruit. What a great ability. G, turned up to the wrong person. Otherwise, this fruit ability must be developed to a very powerful level. What a pity. Unexpectedly, let the idiot Bluno eat this devil fruit. Facing Bluno's attack, Leifen tilted his head slightly. Very easily, avoiding Bluno's hands. At the same time. With lightning speed, Leifen stretched out his left hand, trying to grab Bluno's neck. Sensing Leifen's movement, Bluno's pupils shrank, his face changed dramatically, and he was about to retract his head to the air door to bask in the sun. However, Leifen's speed is too fast. Not good. Bluno's complexion became ugly and his heart was heavy. Immediately afterwards, before Bluno could react, Leifen's left hand grabbed Bluno's neck, and with his left hand, he savagely tore off the opponent's head. Julie tightly clamped his neck, making his face flushed, he couldn't breathe, and his breath also became extremely disordered. Damn it! Bluno held on tightly to the air door to prevent being dragged out from the air door. Six styles. Six king spear. While Leifen was entangled with Bluno, Luchi arrived in front of Leifen again, his fists closed, and all his strength emerged from his fists. Moment. Power. Bursting from the fist to bloom. Boom. The terrifying shock wave rushed directly to Leifen's body. Unexpectedly, at a critical moment, Leifen dragged Bluno out of the air door abruptly, and pinched Bluno's neck with his left hand, so that the latter could not struggle, and finally dragged Bluno to his body. Then, boom. The terrifying shock wave from the Six King's gun directly hit Bluno's body. Advertisement. Puff. Bluno vomited blood on the spot, his face became pale, his eyes turned white and he was about to lose consciousness, he suffered severe stinging pain all over his body, and howled unbearably. He only felt that his chest was sunken by the majestic shock wave, his entire sternum was broken, and his internal organs were displaced by the shock. Even the blood in his body seemed to be boiling and uncontrollable, continuously pouring up his throat, and spurting out from his mouth frantically. Accidentally hurt a teammate, it's really interesting. Leifen smiled playfully, then, he didn't let Bluno react, grabbed the latter's neck, and smashed the other's head to the floor tiles under his feet. Rumble, the entire floor tiles collapsed, and Bluno's body and head were completely smashed and sunken, and the entire upper body was embedded under the nearly half-meter deep ground hole. I see, Bluno's posture was very miserable, and he was in an embarrassing figure. He was slammed into the half-meter deep pit, unconscious and motionless. Get rid of Bluno smoothly. Leifen also pulled out his hand again, focusing on both Luchi and Cajun again. Superior. Seeing that Bluno was beaten to death and lay unconscious on the ground, Luchi and Kaku looked at each other, feeling more and more heavy. Next, in less than half a minute. Lu Chi and Kaku fell down again one after another. One was hit by Leifen's kick, and the bones in the waist were broken, and the body was bombarded with great force. The whole person flew upside down under the ruins of the wall, causing violent turmoil in the wall. The other was covered in blood, leaning against the edge of a dark and dilapidated wall corner, breathing without rhythm, and the injury seemed particularly serious. Ever since, the atmosphere here has returned to tranquility. Only Khalifa was left standing, her eyes were terrified, her pretty face was bloodless, her body was trembling, and her legs were paralyzed on the ground. It's over, it's over. Khalifa was devastated, his face was ashen, and he looked hopeless. Let this game end. Seedling. Feng looked at the figure of Lu Chi lying on the edge of the corner, covered in blood and scars, and approached step by step, and raised the sharp samurai sword in his hand. The blade shone coldly, a faint smell of blood spread from the blade in all directions. Are you going to die? 
Lu Qi's face was pale, his body was heavy, and the vision of his pupils became somewhat blurred. The blood from the corners of his eyes slid down, obscuring his vision. He could only vaguely catch it. A young figure was approaching himself step by step with a samurai sword in hand. Suddenly, Lathan's footsteps stopped abruptly again. He didn't reach Lu Qi's body, but stagnated in an area about 10 meters in front of Lu Qi's body, stopping his footsteps so strangely and without warning. Lathan stood there silently, never moving again. Let the atmosphere here become a little weird. Silence. No sound. The dark alley, because there is no sunshine all year round, makes the humidity here relatively heavy. In addition, a lot of stagnant water has accumulated on both sides of the corner, scattered on the relatively sunken soil area, flowing slowly with a little smell. But I don't know why. Just at that moment, the temperature of the air here seems to have dropped a lot. Not just dropped a star and a half. It's like a change from a dozen degrees above zero to a dozen degrees below zero. From the original cold, get icy, it's freezing cold. With the breeze blowing, Lathan could feel that his body had endured bursts of cold wind that pierced through his clothes and pierced his skin directly. Air temperature plummeted. This is a real drop in temperature. Because, I don't know when it will start. In the dark corners on both sides, puddles of puddles of stagnant water with a faint smell suddenly formed a layer of ice, which quickly began to condense until it was completely frozen. Lathan could feel the icy cold wind coming from his back. It's just like, back against a huge mass of ice, the cold wind swept across the body. Brother, you can't kill them. A tall and thin figure appeared as if Kong Kong had appeared. Without warning, he was so weird, standing behind Lathan. This lazy voice came out of his mouth, and it didn't contain too much emotional fluctuation, but it was especially loud and harsh in this silent atmosphere. Call. He exhaled lightly from his mouth, and in an instant, the gas that he'd blown out turned into many tiny ice cubes that condensed and fell from a high altitude, falling to the floor tiles under his feet. The cold air is continuously coming out from this person's body, causing the air temperature here to plummet at a very obvious speed. Cold. The biting coldness spread in all directions, filling this dark and dilapidated alley. Advertisement Chapter 101 Marine Admiral. So what? Open black lens bracket 5 sixths for customization close black lens bracket. Advertisement. Dark alleys, empty and spacious. The walls on both sides were covered with moss and looked very dilapidated. On the surface of this dilapidated wall, there are strips of rusty water pipes hanging like winding bends, crossing every corner around the wall. Water stains, overflowing from the rusty water pipe, condensed into a drop, almost falling from the sky. However, the moment it falls, the water stains turned into tiny ice cubes and hit the frozen stagnant water below. Boom. A slight pleasant voice sounded. The air temperature has dropped a lot. This place was originally only cold, but at this moment, it became water cold. The puddles of water accumulated in the corner of the wall have already turned into ice sheets as the air temperature here has dropped, which seems particularly strange. There was a slight breeze. The wind was blowing. It makes people have goosebumps all over their bodies, and it just feels creepy. As if the body fell into a freezer, the biting coldness pierced my heart. Silence. The atmosphere is extremely depressing. Lathan's movement stopped abruptly, and he sat quietly on the spot, feeling the monstrous coldness sweeping from his back, as if he wanted to pierce into his bones. The heart-piercing coldness can make him feel it very directly. An emotionless voice, coming from behind, lingered in Lathan's ears. He didn't make any answer or reaction. The cold air made Lathan's limbs and joints seem to be stiff. Like, somebody got involved. Lathan narrowed his eyes slightly. Visible to the naked eye, his eyelashes seemed to be covered with a layer of frost, almost trying to cover up his vision. Call. Another breath of cold air was spit out from the mouth of the tall and thin figure behind the back, and the water mist sprayed from the mouth was quickly swept by the cold air and condensed, turning into countless tiny ice cubes and falling from the sky. Click. Click. The broken floor tiles he was stepping on had spread a thin layer of ice at some point, as if it was going to freeze the entire land. Fortunately, I have a bad memory, and I happen to forget to give them something. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to see what happened here. Thus, today, these little guys may really die in this crappy place. The voice came out from the mouth of the tall and thin figure flatly, with no thread ups and downs. The sound was loud and clear, and quickly spread in all directions. This weird scene, involuntarily, he fell into the eyes of everyone around him. Several gangsters, including the Frankie family, looked at the sudden intervener and the ever-changing battle situation with a positive expression of fear. Thought it was over. T. Here comes another huge variable. The air temperature seems to have dropped a lot. A group of gangsters were shivering and trembling with coldness. The cold wind swept over their bodies, making their skin goose bumps. The temperature change here makes them feel incredible. What's going on? Even if there is no sunlight, the temperature here is not so cold, right? Shut up. The pink lips of the twin sisters moved slightly, and their faces were a little panicked. Big sister head, what did you notice? Zanbai and other gangsters looked at the twin sisters one after another. I just know. The capital of the seven waters, it seems that an incredible existence has come. The twin sister's tone was full of horror and horror. Obviously, they seem to have noticed that a very terrible thing is happening in front of them. At the same time, the other side, advertisement. Khalifa, who was shivering and paralyzed by the corner, stared blankly at the sudden changes in the battlefield with her beautiful eyes filled with deep fear and despair. 
She looked extremely stunned, her thinking seemed to be short-circuited, and she became a mess. That, that is, Khalifa opened his mouth and was speechless for a while. Her eyes were wide and round, her pretty and pale face was full of shock, she stared blankly at the tall and thin figure standing behind Lafin, who seemed to appear out of thin air. I, am I wrong? Khalifa rubbed her eyes, her lips trembling. That's right, not hallucinations, she really saw it. That's the one, ahem. Lu Chi was lying on the corner of the wall, covered in blood and bruises, his body was extremely painful, even his eyelids were heavily suppressed by heavy stones, and they might close at any time. He spat out blood, and looked straight ahead with hazy pupils. Lafin's footsteps came to a strange and abrupt stop. Naturally, this picture cannot escape Lu Chi's vision. Then, Lu Chi was also very smooth, and saw the figure standing behind Lafin. Although his vision was rather blurred, it took him more than ten seconds to barely see the features of that tall and thin figure. Curly hair, skinny, wearing a dark blue shirt, a short-sleeved white shirt, white trousers, and a backpack on his shoulders, he looks like an ordinary traveler walking unrestrained in the sea. He, he is, Lu Chi's throat was dry and his heart was shocked. He saw the other person's appearance clearly. It is precisely because of this. His mood fluctuated, which made him appear so violent, like surging waves, hitting his body wave after wave, making it difficult for him to calm down. Rumble, Kaku also crawled out of the ruins again. Years of life and death training endowed him with extraordinary tenacious vitality, so that he would not easily fall down and lose consciousness. Just crawling out of the ruins, Kaku was in a particularly embarrassing figure, with ragged clothes and scars all over his body. He looked bloody and bloody, and his body seemed to be completely soaked in blood. Feeling that the atmosphere here has become weird, Karen dare not speak to break the weird atmosphere here. Wiping bloodline from the corner of his eyes, Kaku stared straight ahead. I see. Lafin was holding a samurai sword, and was about to approach Lu Chi's footsteps, but it stopped abruptly, stagnating on the spot and never moving an inch. And behind Lafin, stood a tall and thin figure. The cold wind hits. Kaku shuddered all over. When did the temperature become so icy cold? Then, Kaku saw that the accumulated water in the corner of the wall had turned into layers of ice at some point, exuding a cold aura that lingered in all directions. Quote question mark exclamation mark quote. This, this person is. When Kaku saw clearly the face of the figure behind Lafin, he also showed Lu Chi's shocking expression fluctuations, which could not be concealed on his own face. Shock. Horror. Incredible. Many emotions flooded into the atrium and swept Kaku's heart. Quote dot 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 quote. It's saved. After spending a little time, Kaku forcibly suppressed the many shocking emotions in his heart, a bitter and unspeakable smile appeared on his face, and he sighed helplessly. He could no longer support his heavy body, so he fell to the side, paralyzed on the ground, and his breathing seemed very chaotic without rhythm. Saved. CP9 is saved. Holding the same idea as Kaku, there are Luchi and Khalifa. When they saw clearly the features of the figure behind Lafin, the despair in their hearts gradually dissipated a lot. That one, you actually came to the capital of Hundred Thousand Waters. Khalifa's pink lips trembled slightly, her tone full of shock. One of Marine's three admirals. Aokiji. Kuzan. Go to the capital of Seven Waters in person. Advertisement. That's right. This moment. What Lu Chi, Khalifa and the others saw, the tall and thin figure standing behind Lafin, covered in cold air, was one of the top three Marines, Marine Admiral, Aokiji Kuzan. Unexpected. In the end, we need someone from Marine to save us. Lu Chi couldn't express his emotions. He couldn't even think of it. They are dignified CP9, and one day, they will be easily wiped out by a child who is only six or seven years old, alone and with his own strength. All these experiences are still impacting Lu Chi's psychological endurance, making it difficult for him to digest them in a short time, and it is difficult to fully accept them. Now, Lafin himself can also perceive how divine the person standing behind him is. Aokiji, looking at this sea, who else could be a person with such a unique ability? There is no second possibility other than Aokiji. As a marine admiral, you turned your back on the other side to help the CP9 people, which is unreasonable. Furthermore, it's not that I want to kill them, but that they are planning to surround and kill me. This is just a normal self-defense. Lathan's eyes flickered, and there was a weird expression on his face. If you are not strong enough, then the one who died here today was himself. So, just because you just came here and opened your mouth directly. Let me forgive them, spare their lives. What are you kidding? Emotion. This battle, white hits. Little brother, for my sake, how about sparing their lives? Aokiji lowered his head, looked at Lafin who was holding a samurai sword in front of him, and spoke again with a strong expression of amazement. Obviously, he didn't recognize Lafin's identity. This is also in line with common sense. After all, there were only a few people who knew that Garp had a grandson. Even Sengoku, who has been Garp's best friend for many years, has never really seen Lei Chong's face. Not to mention Aokiji, it's completely understandable that Aokiji doesn't know about this. Certainly, although Aokiji didn't know Lafin's identity, he was deeply shocked by Lafin's feat of easily destroying the entire CP9 at such an age. Only six or seven years old. As that okay, destroyed CP9 alone. What a terrifying talent this is. The moment he arrived at the scene, Aokiji wondered if he had read it wrong. As strong as CP9, it was almost wiped out by a six or seven-year-old kid. 
How can that be? But the scenes that happened in front of them are constantly stating that this unbelievable thing happened for real. CP9, a group of outstanding agents, was almost wiped out by a six or seven year old kid. What a terrifying talent. A sudden smile appeared on Lathan's face. Now that Marine Admiral has spoken. No doubt, Aokiji was moved and deeply shocked by the terrifying talent he saw in Lathan. Surround them with their lives. Marine Admiral. At this age, you can easily kill CP9 alone. If you say that if you spare their lives, you will spare their lives. He quickly raised the samurai sword in his hand, the sharp blade, and slowly pointed it at Luchi who was lying in the corner of the wall more than 10 meters in front, and swung it down. Then, an existence that can destroy CP9 at such an age. Kill them. All of this is shocking. Aokiji can be 100% sure that in time, this will definitely be another top monster of the sea. Then how to beg? Aokiji's view of Leifen is full of admiration and wonder, not too much hostility. Am I shameless? Of course I want to. Advertisement Chapter 102 Admiral has made a move. Powerful collision with Aokiji. Open black lens bracket 6 sixths for customization close black lens bracket. Advertisement. Marine Admiral Aokiji. My grandpa is a hero garp. Am I proud? Leifen was completely fearless, aiming the samurai sword in his hand at the corner of the wall where Luchi was lying 10 meters away, and swung it down fiercely. The slash that brewed purple sword energy wrapped around the blade, flashing a dazzling halo. Bright. Attention. With extremely violent and terrifying power. Blade. Swing down. That moment. Call out. The terrifying slash was forced out from the blade, and the brewing power of the slash seemed to have found a breakthrough, fully venting and rushing to the tip of the knife, and quickly pierced the sky from the tip of the knife, blooming with magnificent colors. Hum. Wherever the slash passed, it seemed that even the space was subjected to the impact of great force, twisted and torn by force, producing traces of continuous wriggling. Just when Lu Qi breathed a sigh of relief, looking up again, he saw a beautiful slash, infinitely enlarged in his pupils and eyes, filling his field of vision. The unparalleled majestic power and oppressive aura exuded squeezed every cell in Lu Qi's body, making him feel an overwhelming sense of oppression. You, how dare you? Lu Qi's pupils shrank, and he stared at the approaching terrifying slash with horror on his face. He couldn't even dream of it. I can't figure it out either. Lathan, how dare you? That's the Admiral of Headquarters. How dare you disobey Admiral's order? Are you not a Marine? An order from Admiral, how can you resist that? Lu Qi couldn't help roaring in his heart, his eyes were bloodshot, and his scarlet eyes were full of horror and horror, staring at Zanji approaching at a terrifying speed. This scene, Kaku and Khalifa were also stunned. What the hell? Where did you find the courage to defy the order of a Marine Admiral? After Marine Admiral's words, still dare to continue to attack. 543 Who gave you courage? This this. Kaku's throat was dry, and his face was full of shock and fear. Is this guy really completely unscrupulous? Even Marine Admiral's orders can be directly resisted. Can anyone explain it to him? What the hell is this for? Yes, he said before that he hasn't really joined the Marine yet, so he's not considered a Marine. He's just a quasi-Marine soldier, not an official Marine. In other words, he doesn't even know who the man standing behind him is, and what a terrifying background he has. Kaku thought wildly in his heart. But no matter what he thinks. That beautiful and terrifying slash still completely shocked him. Lu Qi, is it getting cold? Kaku stared blankly at Lu Qi's direction. Visible. Lu Qi was covered in blood and lay in the corner of the wall with many scars. Obviously, he no longer had any possibility of dodging, so he could only be hit head on by this slash. My brother is really stubborn. Aokiji watched Leifen swing down the blade without hesitation, and couldn't help shaking his head and sighing softly. Then, fruit ability stimulates, visible to the naked eye. Layers of ice rapidly spread from the ground under Aokiji's feet, and spread farther and farther in all directions at a terrifying speed. Click, click, the cold air was blowing, and the whole audience in the cage country. The temperature here has dropped even more terrifying. Even the ground was completely frozen, becoming smooth and stiff. At the same time, in front of Lu Qi, the puddle of water was suddenly completely frozen, and the ice quickly rose upwards, forming a wall. A wall of ice. Advertisement. Admiral. Shot. Beth Kaku and Khalifa exclaimed. The huge ice wall firmly blocked Lu Qi's body. T.J. Lu Qi's throat was dry, and the despair that had just risen in his heart was suppressed again. Admiral's shot. No doubt. Their CP9 cannot be destroyed here today. Marine Admiral. This is Yinhai's top combat power. Finally, the terrifying slash released by Leifen aimed directly at this ice wall and bombarded fiercely. Boom. There was a loud bang. Deafening. Like thunder. Horrific and violent power exploded instantly from the slash, and the purple slash power spread, penetrating above the ice wall, constantly destroying the ice wall. Click. Click. The ice wall was shattered by the bombardment, and gaps and cracks were cracked, forming cracks like spider webs, which quickly spread to farther areas. Boom. The majestic airflow was released, sweeping around. The airflow with extremely strong tearing force tore open many weak cracks and gaps on the ground and wall of this side, making it look extraordinarily ferocious. Broken. Hearing the piercing sound of the ice wall breaking, Lu Qi's expression changed again and again. Suddenly, he lost his confidence. Marine Admiral, can it work? This ice wall seems to be smashed. He began to doubt, Marine Admiral's level of strength. 
Click, click. There are more and more traces of the broken ice wall. At last. Rumble. This ice wall shattered directly, turning into a large pile of broken ice cubes, which fell from a high altitude rapidly, and many of them fell on Lu Qi's body. Cold. The feeling of being buried by ice made Lu Qi's whole body turn red and numb, his skin was severely frostbitten, and the coldness pierced his bones, making him shiver unbearably. So far so good. Finally blocked this slash. Lu Qi breathed a sigh of relief, but he was not overly shocked. Admiral's move was defeated so easily. That guy. How strong is it? This is the defense unleashed by Marine Admiral. It turned out that the defense method that Admiral was brewing was defeated by that guy's ten powers. He's only six or seven years old. Lu Qi's lips trembled, and he stared at the young figure with a samurai sword in horror. At this age, defeating Admiral's defenses head on. What a terrifying level of strength this is. What a terrifying talent. Lu Qi is not difficult to imagine. In a few more years, this monster will definitely grow into a top monster. Even if you look at the sea, you can rank among the most terrifying existences. What kind of monster did we provoke today? Lu Qi regretted it. If possible, he would never take the initiative to provoke such a freak again. The opponent's potential is too great. Whether it is talent or strength, they are impeccable and flawless. Lu Qi didn't dare to think. Who on earth can teach such a terrible love? This monster is so strong that it is not human. Advertisement. This guy is not only super strong, but also bold. Not even Admiral. Lu Qi felt a little apprehensive. He is scared. Why did he know that the other party is a lunatic with terrifying strength, even if he was given 10,000 courage, he would never choose to provoke the other party on his own initiative. As for the so-called unstable factors, then make it unstable and pull down. Anyway, no matter how bad it is, there will be no more severe situation than the current one. Their CP9 was almost wiped out by the group. No matter how unstable the factors are, can it be worse than it is now? Of course not. I regret it. It's all right now. I provoked a monster, and it's hard to end. Lu Qi sighed helplessly. Not far. Kaku and Khalifa also saw the picture of an ice wall brewing and Aokiji being smashed by a slash from Leifen. This scene, falling into their pupils, made them suddenly feel terrified, their faces became terrified, and they trembled all over. Does this count as, strong collision marine admiral? Kaku couldn't think of words to describe it for a while. So horrifyingly mundane, things gradually developed, completely beyond the scope of CP9's control. Who can imagine? Marine Admiral steps in, and that guy, he didn't even take Marine Admiral's order seriously, and dared to attack directly and powerfully, colliding with Admiral. Grunt. Khalifa swallowed, her pretty face was pale and bloodless. So, what monster did we mess with? Not even Admiral. This kind of monster still cares about their CP9. What a joke. It's really amazing that my brother possesses such a terrifying level of strength at such an age. And also, your sword skills are quite high. Aokiji looked at Leifen in shock and amazement, without any hesitation in admiration. This is the first time for Aokiji to see such terrifying strength and unimaginable level of swordsmanship from such a young child. Rao is Aokiji's experience, he can't even imagine it. One day, he will see from a six or seven year old child, this penultimate level of swordsmanship. Could it be, did you start practicing swordsmanship from the womb? Aokiji couldn't help but have this ridiculous idea in his head. Absurd indeed, this kind of thing is not always possible. The top battle force in the ocean, Marine Admiral. Since it was today, it was just a coincidence that I ran into it for myself. Subvert Cognition. Showdown with Admiral of Headquarters. The current me is far from the top combat power in the sea. I really want to know. Even Aokiji's cognition has been seriously subverted. Then don't miss it. Leifen slowly raised the sharp samurai sword in his hand, his eyes were filled with unprecedented fighting intent, and the flames of war were burning in his pupils. Nature. This is an unprecedented challenge. Hashtag BT. A child of six or seven years old, the level of swordsmanship he has mastered is probably no worse than most swordsmen in the sea, but it is very likely to be much better. Do you want to fight Admiral yourself? At the same time. He was thinking of a very serious question at the moment. Leifen has already opened a safe distance of more than 10 meters from Aokiji, his eyes are shining brightly, holding a samurai sword, looking at Aokiji expectantly. Advertisement Chapter 103 Face Aokiji. Showdown with Marine Admiral. Open black lens bracket 1 7 for customization close black lens bracket. Advertisement. Fighting Spirit. The monstrous fighting spirit was fully released from Leifen's body. Soon, this momentum spread to this dark and empty alley. Let Lu Qi, Kaku, and Khalifa all deeply understand the feeling of being enveloped by the monstrous fighting spirit released by Leifen. He, is he crazy? Kaku's lips trembled, and he opened his mouth with a look of bewilderment and shock. What the hell? This guy, what is he going to do? Does he know, who is the person in front of him? That's the Admiral of Headquarters. This guy, he actually wants to try to fight Marine Admiral. What's the situation? Not only was Kaku stunned, Lu Qi and Khalifa were even more dumbstruck, dumbfounded, their whole heads were completely confused by the shocking scene in front of them. Obediently, what did they see? He, he looks like, is going to fight the Admiral of Headquarters. Khalifa's pink lips moved slightly, and her pretty face was covered by thick and shocking colors. 
Her mood was violently shaken, like a raging ocean current, wave after wave crazily pounded against her heart, making her emotions show on her face uncontrollably. It's so shocking. This guy, actually tried to confront Aokiji. Who is Aokiji? Aokiji is one of the three admirals in naval headquarters today, everyone in the sea recognizes the top combat power. This terrifying existence is standing in front of you. And this crazy guy is trying to challenge this existence. God, Khalifa is going crazy. All of this impacted her cognition and shattered her cognition. What kind of monster is this? What kind of psychological quality can prompt myself to face a big guy like Marine Admiral? Really, does the other party really not know that it is Marine Admiral? It must be so. Khalifa comforted himself in his heart. She couldn't believe it. A person who knew clearly that what he was facing was the existence of Marine Admiral, yet he dared to take the initiative to engage in a strong confrontation. What a great feeling. Dueling the Admiral of Headquarters. Let me calm down. Lu Chi leaned against the corner of the wall, covered in blood and scarred, and a lot of broken ice cubes piled up on his body, which made his body stiff and red and swollen. His eyes were full of shock, fixed on the unimaginable scene in front of him. A child who was only six or seven years old, actually confronted the Admiral of Headquarters. Terrible. It was only at this moment that Lu Chi understood. What kind of monster lunatic did CP9 provoke this time? The faint sunlight shines down through the top of the dilapidated building. The temperature here is still very cold and chilly. The sun shone on Leifen's body, making the sharp blade in his hand shimmer with a little halo, and the faint smell of blood radiated from the blade and drifted into the distance. The vigorous fighting spirit was released from Leifen's body. Want to fight me? Aokiji was surprised. He really didn't expect that the Leifen in front of him would choose to fight him. Feeling the monstrous fighting spirit emanating from Leifen, Aokiji also restrained the lazy salty fish expression on his face a little bit, and became serious for a rare moment. Although he didn't think that the Leifen in front of him could defeat him. But he was infected by Leifen's fighting spirit. Furthermore, Aokiji admits, Leifen is a very scary monster. Although the strength is not very top-notch, Aokiji can be sure that if Leifen is given a few more years, the opponent will definitely be able to make a name for himself in the sea. With the other party's talent, he must be able to do it. Advertisement. In that case, then I don't mind playing seriously with you. Aokiji smiled. Then, he exhaled a breath of cold air from his mouth, and using the fruit ability, this breath of coldness was slowly frozen, turning into a blade that he held tightly in his hand. The blade seemed to be joined together, firmly in his left hand. Ice skates. Aokiji's eyes flashed, and he slowly raised the ice skate in his hand, aiming at Leifen in front of him. At the same time, Leifen has also raised the samurai sword in his hand, the blade is facing Aokiji. For a while, tension. The atmosphere becomes subtle. The cold and stern aura spread to all directions of the audience. Let Lu Chi, Kaku and the others pay attention, staring at the movement here with shocked faces, not daring to move their eyes, let alone blink. This guy, really going to fight Marine Admiral. Lu Chi's entire head seemed to be hit hard by a heavy object, their foreheads buzzed, and their expressions became incomparably shocked. Are you crazy? This is the Admiral of Headquarters. Before the shock in their hearts subsides, the battle is about to start. Boom. Leifen took the lead. Shave. In an instant, Leifen, holding a samurai sword, disappeared in place. Kindness. This is. Marine Six Styles. This moment. Aokiji's face was completely moved, his eyes were a bit suspicious and frightened, and even his spirit became a little trance, unable to concentrate. This little guy actually knows how to use Marine Six Styles. This is incredible. In Marine, it seems that I don't remember the existence of such a monster. If the other party is a Marine member, he shouldn't be unaware of the other party's existence. Although Aokiji who is a marine admiral, cannot remember all the marines, but with such a terrifying talent and strength level of Leifen, it is impossible to be unknown in the marines. But in fact, Aokiji had no idea that such a monster appeared in marine. So here comes the problem. The opponent's marine six styles, where did you learn it? This made Aokiji completely confused. If the other party is not marine, why can they master marine six styles? And it seems very skilled. Whether it's movement or posture, it gave Aokiji the illusion that Leifen in front of him seemed to have been in contact with marine six styles for at least a few years. This is very unreasonable. This monster. Where is it sacred? Aokiji suddenly felt a little helpless. He still couldn't figure out what Leifen's identity was. Marine. But Aokiji is 100% sure, in his impression, Marine absolutely does not have such a freak. If there is, it is impossible for him not to know. If it's Marine. And why did you attack CP9? It's getting more and more chaotic. Sure enough, I'm not good at dealing with such troublesome things. This guy, Grandmaster Marine Six Styles, obviously has a lot to do with Marine. This matter, what is going on? Countless thoughts and confusions entangled in Aokiji's mind, making him puzzled. Asking for flowers, a child who is obviously not a marine. But the other party is a grandmaster and can skillfully use marine six styles. Advertisement. Why? Even if Aokiji racked his brains, he couldn't think of a guess that was more appropriate to the truth. Also, what shocked Aokiji even more is that. The Leifen in front of me is only six or seven years old. Not only is the swordsmanship attainment penultimate superb. Even marine six styles, can display it so vividly. What is this for? Aokiji was a little stunned. 
Swordsmanship penultimate is fine, but who can explain it to him? This kid, why is he so proficient in marine six styles? Could it be? Can someone's talent really be so powerful? Only six or seven years old. There is no doubt that many things that have happened today have seriously overturned Aokiji's previous cognitive views. Sword skills are quite high. Marine six styles level, very skilled. Aokiji let out a heavy breath. What a horrible monster. Even though he is young, Aokiji still attaches great importance to him. He saw it for the first time. In this sea, there really is such a freak with outstanding talent. Instantly, Leifen has appeared in front of Aokiji. The sharp blade in his hand aimed at Aokiji's body and swung it down. Boom. Aokiji reacted quickly, holding the skate in his left hand, blocking in front of him. When the blades collided with each other, a majestic air flow swept across. Click, click. Aokiji could feel that there were tiny cracks on the ice blade that he was holding tightly in his left hand, and they were spreading rapidly, as if they were about to collapse at any moment. With a thought, the fruit ability is activated again. I see. The skates, which were about to crack, returned to their original state and healed completely. Instead, a wave of ice spread across the skates, reaching the samurai sword Leifen was carrying. But Leifen, who had realized it earlier, quickly drew back the blade, and stepped back a few steps, looking at Aokiji in front of him in amazement. It is indeed the admiral of headquarters. Really strong. Strong as a monster. But just such a person, Aokiji, whom Leifen thought was as strong as a monster, felt ups and downs at the moment, and it was also very violent. Aokiji felt the vibration from his left hand just now, and when he looked up at Leifen again, his eyes were full of shock and approval. Just ask, who is qualified to teach this terrifying monster? He himself has been quietly labeled a, scary monster, by the Aokiji in front of him seven. What Leifen doesn't yet know is that, this guy, the monster is a bit scary. Who, can teach this monster? Much, much stronger than he expected. Look out to see, just a short confrontation. At such an age, he no longer possesses such a terrifying level of swordsmanship. Aokiji couldn't figure it out. Suddenly, Leifen's level of swordsmanship is far beyond his previous expectations. Plus Grandmaster Marine Six Styles. This moment. Have to admit, but it was enough for Aokiji to deeply understand the level of Leifen's sword skills. Based on Aokiji's many years of experience as the Admiral of Headquarters, this is the first time he has seen and witnessed a freak with such an unbelievable level of talent. Advertisement Chapter 104 Marine Six Styles. Can't you learn it with your hands? Open black lens bracket two sevenths for customization close black lens bracket. Advertisement. There are not many opportunities to play against Marine Admiral. Seize the opportunity. Come again. Leifen's eyes flickered, looking at Aokiji in front of him. He knows. Aokiji keeps his hand. Otherwise, Aokiji would definitely have the strength to instantly kill himself in the face-to-face -face just now. But apparently, after Marine Six Styles was cast, Aokiji had already had some scruples in his heart. Before he figured out the situation, Aokiji couldn't really do it. That. Leifen is even more unscrupulous. The opportunity to find a Marine Admiral as a sparring partner is rare. Shave. Leifen, holding a samurai sword, disappeared in place. Next second, when he reappeared, he was already standing beside Aokiji, with a sharp blade with a slight smell of blood, aiming at Aokiji's chest and slashing. Boom. Aokiji blocked Leifen's attack again with the skate. Boom. Boom. Blink of an eye. Leifen and Aokiji have played against each other several times. The collision between the blade and the skate did not flash the fire, but the ice cubes from the skate fell and piled up on the floor tiles. For a while, the collision between Leifen and Aokiji turned out to be even for a short time. This scene, it fell into the eyes of Lu Chi, Kaku and the others, making them completely stupefied, their faces full of astonishment, and they watched the development of the battle dumbfounded. Really, anyway, Aokiji is, 010, a majestic admiral of headquarters. To be beaten so hard by a six or seven year old child. This must be an illusion. Lu Chi shook his head, forcing me to find an excuse to comfort myself. Of course they knew that Aokiji definitely didn't go all out, but even so, even if Marine Admiral didn't take it seriously, the strength shown by Marine Admiral was absolutely unmatched by others. But what do they see now? A child who was only six or seven years old was holding a knife and fighting Marine Admiral evenly. The battle was very intense and seemed to go back and forth. Although Aokiji didn't take it seriously, the strength of the monster opposite is too terrifying. This monster, fought so fiercely with Admiral. Kaku was dumbfounded. His worldview was seriously facing the fate of collapse. What's the matter? This is the majestic Admiral of Headquarters. The sea is recognized as the top combat power. Unexpectedly, the fight with a seven-year-old child was so intense. Can't take down the opponent in a short time. Although there are elements of disrespect and lack of seriousness, this strength still makes them deeply shocked. From the fight between Leifen and Aokiji. They saw it too. Emotion. When Leifen played against their CP9, they didn't really take it seriously at all. Leifen, who collided with Aokiji in front of him, is much stronger than his CP9 just now. It can be said that they are completely different. Hey, where did this monster come from? Kaku couldn't help crying in his heart. He was suddenly very happy. CP9 is still alive now, and still alive rather than being wiped out by the opponent at once. 
Boom, boom. The terrifying collision, the bursting airflow is extremely tearing, and the rapid spread sweeps across the four directions. Click, click. The dilapidated walls around them, under the impact of this majestic airflow, shattered into cracks like spider webs, and the cracks spread farther. The wall crumbles. The wall collapsed and many broken stones were scattered under the wall. Advertisement. Lu Chi, Kaku and all of them could feel that the airflow from the strong collision in the battlefield enveloped their bodies, and the airflow was as sharp as a blade, making their skin faintly tingle. What kind of existence have we provoked? Khalifa's legs were weak and he was paralyzed in the corner of the wall, motionless. Her mind was blank, and she stared blankly at the movement on the battlefield. Terrible. That's Marine Admiral. Although the other party is not serious, this strength is by no means anyone can compete. But he was violently shaken by a child who was only six or seven years old with pure swordsmanship, and the fight was very fierce. For sure. If Admiral hadn't arrived at the scene today. Their CP9 will be completely destroyed today. There is no doubt about this. After seeing the current strength displayed by Leifen, Khalifa and the others no longer have any confidence in their hearts to face an existence of Leifen's level. Too strong. When fighting against them, this monster still didn't take it seriously. God, where the hell did this freak out come from? They groaned in their hearts thinking. Boom, boom. Leifen's swordsmanship was fully displayed, fully blooming, and the sword light flickered, and a strong swordsmanship collision and friction broke out with Aokiji in front of him. The scary thing is, Aokiji, was temporarily suppressed. Yes, Aokiji who holds an ice skate in his left hand, showed signs of losing ground in the face of Leifen's unparalleled swordsmanship. Brother, your sword skills are terrifying. Aokiji looked at Leifen in amazement. As an admiral of headquarters, of course he has seen many strong swordsmanship penultimates. Such as Hakai, Kazaru, etc., the level of swordsmanship is quite high. But it is these strong men with top sword skills, at their age of 6 or 7, Aokiji can be 100% sure that the other party cannot have the level of swordsmanship comparable to that of Leifon in front of him. Even Hakai is no exception. Hawkeye's swordsmanship is also the title of the world's number one swordsman after decades of honing and precipitation, accumulating over time. If placed at the age of six or seven, Aokiji thought carefully. He came to a very dire conclusion. At the age of six or seven, I am afraid that in this sea, there is no other person who can deal with this freak in front of me. Without the second one, at the age of six or seven, one can make one's own level of strength reach this level of alienation. This is the only example in front of me. Stop talking about the others. Even if I am myself, at the age of six or seven, if I face this monster in front of me, I'm afraid it will be the result of being crushed unilaterally. Aokiji thought strangely. The essential. This guy in front of him is not only good at swordsmanship, but even marine six styles is amazingly proficient. According to the standards of a normal person, how could a person be so proficient in both practical combat skills at the same time? I'm so confused. You actually use the standard of a normal person to measure a monster, a different kind. Aokiji couldn't help shaking his head. Aokiji Admiral, your sword skills are not bad either. Leifen looked at Aokiji with a smile. Aokiji is not good at swordsmanship, but as Marine Admiral, he naturally knows a little bit about everything. Aokiji also knows a thing or two about swordsmanship. Although it is not as refined as Kazaru, it is by no means comparable to ordinary swordsmen. But the sword skills of the two are compared with sword skills. The difference is very obvious. Obviously, is Aokiji's swordsmanship far inferior to that of Lei in front of him? Only then will there be a situation where Aokiji is overwhelmed by Leifen. If it is a pure swordsmanship comparison, Aokiji will be unilaterally crushed by Leifen. Only, Aokiji's physical strength, speed, reaction ability and other aspects are all excellent, which fills his vacancy in swordsmanship. That's why it appeared that Aokiji used swordsmanship to barely match Lei Da's. If it weren't for Aokiji's combination of these advantages, Aokiji would have lost to Leifen in front of him just by relying on swordsmanship. Advertisement. What a horrible guy. Aokiji stepped back step by step, the ice blade in his hand was cracked inch by inch by the bombardment. Click, click. The skates shattered into tiny gaps, and were quickly impacted by Leifen's blade with great force, making these broken gaps more obvious. But in the blink of an eye, Aokiji used the ability of Devil Fruit to quickly restore the blade to its original state, and all the cracks were healed, returning to its original intact appearance. The frictional collision between the blade and the ice skate, the strong impact, shattered the ice skate in Aokiji's left hand, and the ice skate scattered countless broken ice cubes, which splashed into the dark corners around. I really want to know. Who taught your Marine Six Styles? Aokiji's eyes were fixed, and he slowly expressed the biggest question in his heart. He still can't figure it out. A person who obviously has no reputation in Marine may not be Marine, so why can the other party use Marine six styles so skillfully? This made Aokiji think about it, but he couldn't think of an accurate answer. Teach. Faced with Aokiji's question, Leifen's eyes flashed and he laughed. The expression on his face became somewhat intriguing. My Marine six styles was not taught by others. Moreover, I don't think that the simple practical skills of Marine six styles need to be taught by others to master. No. No, no. Aokiji Admiral, you don't really think that a simple and effortless trick like Marine Six Styles needs to be taught by others. Isn't this something you can learn with your hands? The words fell. Visible to the naked eye, Aokiji's expression instantly became very astonished. This guy, what did you just say? What's the meaning? 
Not Marine 6 styles taught by others. Then the problem gets even weirder. How did the other party do this Marine 6 styles without anyone teaching them? And many more. Wrong. Wait a moment. Aokiji suddenly realized the key point of the matter. Marine 6 styles. Is it a very simple practical skill? Aokiji's eyes widened immediately, and he stared at Leifen in surprise. Say something. Who told you? Marine 6 styles is really simple. As an admiral of headquarters, although Aokiji rarely uses Marine 6 styles, 1.9 does not mean that he has never learned Marine 6 styles. Basically, Marine 6 styles is a practical skill that every senior Marine has come into contact with more or less. Even Aokiji had a lot of experience back then. For Marine 6 styles, Aokiji certainly has a deep understanding. Simple. Aokiji couldn't help but doubt life. Is it possible? It took me several months to learn the Marine 6 styles, is it fake? It reached the mouth of the monster in front of him. The cumbersome and practical trick of Marine 6 styles becomes simple, easy to learn. What a joke. Aokiji still remembers that his own record of learning Marine 6 styles in the shortest time is still ranked among the Marines and has not been refreshed for many years. Even so, it took him several months to barely get started with Marine 6 styles. This record has not been broken by Marine for more than 10 years, and it has been maintained. Are there many outstanding talents in Marine? Of course many. Even so, the record kept by Aokiji is still unsurpassed for more than 10 years. But what did the guy in front of you just say? Marine 6 styles. You can learn it with your hands. You don't need someone else's teaching. Aokiji's movements became a little sluggish and stiff, and he suddenly suffered an unprecedented 10,000 tons of painful critical blows from Leifen's words in front of him. Advertisement Chapter 105 Aokiji. Suddenly think I'm a waste. Open black lens bracket 3 sevenths for customization close black lens bracket. Advertisement. As long as you have hands. Could it be? I spent several months of training in the past, and was taught by Zephyr Teacher with the most powerful and strict attitude, so I barely managed to learn Marine 6 styles at the fastest speed. But that's taken full advantage of it for several months. Aokiji looked at Leifen suspiciously. This kid, is he exaggerating? If it were the second person, Aokiji might have to refute. Even, Aokiji would want to slap him. What nonsense. Can Marine 6 styles be learned by hand? Come and show me. A. B. Do not know why. Facing Leifen in front of him, Aokiji felt a little guilty. False. Cowardly. Cowardly. Obediently. This is a terrifying monster who is only 6 or 7 years old, but his sword skills are already so good, and he can easily defeat CP9. Things that ordinary people can't do. Put it on this kind of monster, it really doesn't make sense. Not to mention, with these experiences ahead of him, Aokiji is still not 100% sure whether the Leifen in front of him is exaggerating. What if the other party is really this kind of monster? Aokiji couldn't help thinking. Can ordinary people master such a proficient level of swordsmanship at the age of 6 or 7? Can ordinary people learn the basics of Marine 6 styles at this age? Of course not. This possibility was directly rejected by Aokiji. But, the Leifen in front of me did it. 14 monsters, of course, cannot be compared with ordinary people. It's just that what Leifen just said is true and shocking. How hard is it to learn Marine 6 styles with no one to teach you? Anyway, Aokiji couldn't imagine it. When he was taught by a famous teacher back then, he used it for several months, and this has become a record that Marine has not broken for more than 10 years. It can be seen from this. The degree of difficulty of Marine 6 styles is still at a certain level. Otherwise, didn't see the Marine that broke the Aokiji record. For more than 10 years, no one can break this record. Obviously, Aokiji, is the best first person to learn Marine 6 styles. Despite this, after listening to Leifen's words, Aokiji, the excellent first person, felt a bit confused. You mean to say, you're Marine 6 styles, are you self-taught? Aokiji opened his mouth, his tone full of suspicion. At the same time, the ice blade in his hand was not too slow, but he attacked Leifen very fiercely, without delay or mercy. He used his strongest swordsmanship level to fight Leifen, but he didn't use too much fruit ability. Therefore, Leifen can deal with the current Aokiji, but it seems to be more than rubbing, quite easily. In terms of swordsmanship, Leifen can crush Aokiji. To be frank, Leifen feeling, Aokiji's swordsmanship is really rough. It can be said to be full of loopholes. Simply compare Zoro's swordsmanship with Aokiji's. Zoro's swordsmanship is at least far superior to Aokiji's by several streets. But there is nothing wrong with that. Advertisement. Aokiji, he is not good at swordsmanship. If not. Aokiji Admiral, you don't really need to be taught by others, the Marine 6 styles that the group finally learned. Leifen asked in a strange tone. Immediately, Aokiji blushed and felt a little uncomfortable all over. Good guy, being ridiculed, but let alone, if there was no Zephyr's teaching back then, Aokiji might not have been able to learn Marine 6 styles. As for learning in just a few months, this is even more nonsense. A situation where someone is teaching and a situation where no one is teaching. The two should not be confused at all. The difference is too much. No one taught it, so naturally I don't know the essentials and tricks. It needs to be explored by one person. This time may take more than 10 times, or even dozens of times, which may not be feasible. 
Some people teach that it is like a road that has already been paved by the predecessors, and the future generations can easily walk to the road ahead only by taking steps. And if no one teaches, you need to open your own way, go through countless ups and downs and thorns on the road, and clear all obstacles before you can see the road ahead. The difference between the two is huge. Aokiji didn't even dare to say it. Would he ever be able to learn Marine's six styles if no one taught him? This point, Aokiji himself cannot guarantee, but he was more inclined in his heart. He may have to spend at least several years of accumulation before he can learn the basics of Marine Six Styles. Tell you secretly, Aokiji Admiral, my Marine Six Styles, just took one day before and after, and I learned it completely. At that time, first secretly learned Marine Six Styles from a certain unsatisfactory Marine Colonel. What I still remember deeply is that his expression at that time was exactly the same as your expression at this moment. Same astonishment, same dumbfounded. Before Aokiji could respond, Lathan continued to talk with a playful smile. Finished. Aokiji was getting more and more confused. His head seemed to be hit hard by a heavy object. What the hell? F. What kind of international joke is this? Marine 6 style stolen from a marine colonel in one day. What are you talking about in your sleep? Stealth. What is this concept? Using one day to learn marine 6 styles from others without anyone teaching. How high is this difficulty factor? It is harder than climbing to the sky. You let me calm down. I might have an auditory hallucination. Aokiji's throat was dry, and his face was a little frightened. This is impossible. That's right. Must be fake. This kid, he must have made something out of nothing. It must be in the dark. How could such unbelievable examples exist? Marine never showed up. The sea will never appear. Throughout the 800 years, it is impossible for such unimaginable examples to exist. This moment, the thoughts in Aokiji's head became extraordinarily chaotic. The unprecedented shock disrupted his thinking and prevented him from thinking calmly. Admiral of Headquarters Aokiji, who has always been calm, never imagined that one day he would face such a situation where his mind was seriously disturbed. Advertisement. What are you kidding? Aokiji couldn't help but open his mouth to refute. After all, he couldn't contain the restlessness in his heart. Learn Marine six styles in a day. Is it true that they are full of idiots in Marine? Even the best of him took several months. Even if there is a big gap in talent between people. But it can't be that the gap is so ridiculously big, right? Yes. In Aokiji's opinion, this is outrageous. If someone can really do such outrageous things, Aokiji thinks, wouldn't his own record have already been refreshed by others? But it's not actually being refreshed. Also, this gap must be too big. It takes a normal marine a year to barely master the marine six styles, but naturally it only takes one day to put it on the monster in front of him. What is this concept? For example, others have honed swordsmanship for more than ten years, how many days have you used your feelings to surpass it? Is it possible? Comma. It seems, it seems, something is not quite right. Aokiji's thoughts froze. All those countless thoughts that echoed in his mind suddenly disappeared. This moment, Aokiji stared at Leifen in front of him with his eyes wide open, his expression full of shock. Grunt. He couldn't help swallowing. Just now. Is my own analogy wrong? The Leifen in front of me. Didn't it just verify the example of the analogy just mentioned? The level of swordsmanship of others for more than ten years, or even decades. It's really not necessarily comparable to Leifen in front of him, and he may not have practiced swordsmanship for a few years. How long has Leifen in front of you been in contact with swordsmanship? At most, it will take less than five years to survive. But what is Leifen's current level of swordsmanship? Anyway, Aokiji felt that the level of swordsmanship possessed by such a young Leifen was much, much higher than the swordsmanship of Colonel Marine he had seen before. More precisely, these Marine colonels, compared to Leifen. The two are not on the same level at all. And those Marine colonels have the level of swordsmanship today, how many years did they spend? Ten years. Twenty years. Most likely more than that. So here comes the problem. Leifen, how many years did it take? Leifen, who is only seven years old, has been able to practice swordsmanship for how long? But such a young Leifen can already be compared with the swordsmanship of those marine colonels. This does not just explain. In this sea, there really exists such a terrifyingly talented monster. And in front of you, Aokiji, he just happened to see it with his own eyes. A terrifying genius monster who only needs a few years of accumulation is enough to easily crush others for ten years, or even decades of hard work. I, what kind of monster did I encounter today? The strong shock washed over Aokiji's brain circuit. Let him suddenly have an illusion from the bottom of his heart. I'm a piece of trash. I'm just a scumbag. Advertisement Chapter 106 Iron Fist. Iron Fist comes. Open black lens bracket 4 sevenths for customization close black lens bracket. Advertisement. A dark alley. The air temperature is freezing. Coldness breathes. The cold air rushed towards the face, filling the four corners. A lot of water accumulated in the corner of the wall has turned into ice and condensed. Lu Chi leaned against the dilapidated wall, covered in blood and scarred, staring blankly at the movement of the battlefield in front of him with a somewhat blurred vision stained with blood. The ice wall that was shattered before, dropped countless ice cubes and piled up on his body, freezing his body red and swollen, and some wounds were strangely bloodline solidified, thus stopping the bleeding. Aokiji Admiral, you can't take that guy down. Lu Chi looked at the battlefield in shock. 
The back and forth figures of those two fighting each other made him feel wildly shocked. Although Aokiji did have the element of releasing water, he still didn't expect that monster who was only six or seven years old to be so powerful. What kind of crazy did I go before, and I chose to provoke this freak? Lu Chi's throat was dry, full of regret. This is just great. CP9 was easily wiped out by this monster alone. Next, their plans will be more or less bound to be seriously affected. Furthermore, among them, there are still several members whose life and death are still unknown. Odanashi Fukuro is definitely dead. Miserably, a knife pierced through the body. Ten dead and no life. How could he still be alive after being pierced through the body with a knife? I seriously miscalculated. The strength of the opponent. I never imagined that this kid, who was only six or seven years old, could be so strong. Alone, with his own strength, he wiped out our entire CP9. So far, Lu Qi's mood is still difficult to calm down. As an agent for many years, Lu Qi's psychological quality is naturally very calm. Can be helpless. What happened today is too subverting cognition. Let Lu Qi's worldview suffer a very serious impact. The worldview is broken. Cognition is subverted. The culprit of all this is the six or seven year old child in front of him. Previously, no one could have predicted that such a young child would possess such terrifying sword skills and such proficient marine six styles. This moment, only then did Lu Qi realize it deeply. They CP9, this time really caused a big trouble and disaster. If Aokiji hadn't appeared in time, Lu Qi felt that he would have been reduced to a cold corpse at this moment. In the battlefield, call, Aokiji exhaled heavily, a breath of cold air spit out from his mouth, and soon condensed and turned into ice cubes that fell and scattered the floor tiles under his feet. It took a few minutes for Aokiji to really calm down his shaking mood. But when facing Leifen in front of him again, Aokiji felt a little ashamed and humble in his heart. I am trash, I do not deserve, I don't deserve to be compared with you. I'm sitting in the well watching the sky. Emotion. This world really has this level of terrifying genius monsters. I admit it, it's me. Countless thoughts flashed through Aokiji's mind, making him seem careless and slow to deal with Leifen's offensive in front of him. Aware of Aokiji's strange behavior, Leifen looked strange. Not so good. Say something. What I said just now, can't really cause serious psychological trauma to Aokiji. What about Marine Admiral? Is it just mental quality? That would be too bad. The dignified admiral of headquarters, can't even accept this thing. That's far, far worse than Colonel Pocato's psychological quality. O.R. We tell the truth, but we never lie. As for whether you can accept it or not, it's none of my business. Did I lie? First did learn Marine Six Styles in less than a day, what's wrong? To be more precise, first learned Marine Six Styles in less than three minutes. Leifen thought strangely, could it be? Do you really want to tell the truth? Looking up, Leifen glanced at Aokiji's expression. Never mind, let's not attack this honest man anymore. If he really told the truth, not to mention Aokiji, even if Sengoku came, it would take a lot of effort to ease his mood. Three minutes, don't talk about getting started with Marine Six Styles in three minutes. Even for a day, it scares Aokiji a lot. If this time is further shortened, Aokiji's mentality may collapse. Advertisement. I remember, Aokiji Admiral, our study Marine Six Styles best record holder. Leifen smiled playfully, not worth mentioning, not worth mentioning. Aokiji gave a dry laugh. Ashamed ashamed, it's far worse than learning it in one day. When someone else said this, Aokiji might feel that the other party was more or less admirable. But I don't know why. These words came from Leifen's mouth, but Aokiji always felt as if his own shortcomings were found by others and directly mentioned in his mouth. This kind of taste is really not good. It seems that Heavenly Pheasant is still somewhat self-aware. That's really not worth mentioning. Leifen nodded. Aokiji opened his mouth, unable to refute for a while. Hasty, drunk, this kid is really unreasonable and unforgiving. However, Aokiji Admiral's feat of being able to maintain the record for more than 10 years without being broken by anyone is still quite good. Of course, compared to me, it is still a little inferior. Leifen showed no sign of modesty. Cough cough. Aokiji coughed dryly, his old face flushed. It's not just a star and a half that is inferior. Brother, you are still too humble. Or in other words, you don't even know what is the concept of learning marine six styles in one day. This is entirely true, unprecedented. It is not an exaggeration to describe it like this, and it is not an exaggeration at all. Looking at the sea for 800 years, who can do such a feat? No, not a single instance ever existed. Now I'm even more curious, who the hell are you? Aokiji stared at Leifen, asking seriously. He can feel it. Leifen, I'm afraid the background is not small. But even if he racked his brains, he couldn't figure out, who exactly is Leifen and what identity does he have? Want to know? Then fight. Leifen narrowed his eyes slightly and smiled playfully. The blade in his hand slowly fell. The purple sword energy is wrapped around the blade, exuding extremely violent and majestic power, filling the blade and spreading in all directions. The moment the blade cut, call out, the terrifying purple slash, blooming with magnificent colors, rushed forward swiftly, carrying the aura of destructive power that almost destroyed everything in the world, covering Aokiji's body in front of him in an all-round way. It's terrible. Feeling the power contained in the slash, Aokiji was amazed, and he did not hide his inner approval. 
Then, he put his hands on top of the floor tiles. His hands turned into ice cubes, quickly freezing the ground stiff. Ice hour. Fruit ability stimulates. The floor tiles under his feet condensed rapidly at a speed visible to the naked eye, turning into ice, and quickly spreading to the place where Leifen stepped on. Layer after layer of ice condensed and rose rapidly, turning into ice walls one after another, blocking the area several meters in front of Aokiji. Slashing, hit the ice wall head on. Boom, with a loud bang. Deafening, the thunderous voice resounded through the sky. The force of the slashing explosion eroded the ice wall, tearing the ice wall apart abruptly. Rumble, the ice wall was torn apart and turned into countless pieces of ice fragments, each of which was rolled up by the force of the airflow that exploded from the slashing attack, rushed to the four directions, and pierced into the four walls with extremely strong penetrating power. Like piercing through tofu, the broken and sharp ice cubes pierced the dilapidated wall directly into Chen. Many perforations spread all over the walls on both sides. Even Lu Qi, Kaku, and Khalifa were more or less affected by the scattered ice debris, and looked at the battlefield ahead in horror. The collision that broke out at this moment was far more intense than the collision with Leifen just now. In short, the two are not at the same level at all. Emotion, is this monster so fierce? Speaking of which, his fierceness seems a bit exaggerated. He's only six or seven years old. Lu Qi and Kaku couldn't help crying in their hearts. Unfair. Why is it that a six or seven year old child possesses this penultimate and terrifying power? After more than ten years of life and death, they have only reached the current level of strength, but they don't even lift the shoes of Leifen in front of them. Their mentality is strongly out of balance. Ice cube storm pheasant's mouth. Aokiji focused the cold air on his right arm to activate Devil Fruit's ability. From the right arm, it turned into an ice bird, and rushed forward swiftly, attacking the place where Leifen was standing. Where the ice bird passes, everything is frozen. On the walls on both sides, you can see that the ice surface is gradually extending. The floor tiles also become smoother as the temperature drops, and can even reflect the faint sunlight falling from the sky. Advertisement. Have you finally used your fruit ability? Also, let me feel the strength of Admiral. Leifen's eyes twinkled. Lift the blade in your hand and slide it down gently. Call out. Slash and attack instantly. Boom. The terrifying purple slash hit the ice bird, the two forces intertwined, and the berserk forces eroded each other crazily, causing the bursting air to sweep the audience. The ice bird is broken. The purple slash also dissipated. The scattered ice cubes fell to the surface respectively. Cold. The cold air rushed towards Leifen's body. I don't know when. Aokiji seems to have teleported, and has stood behind Leifen. Brother, you seem to be losing. Aokiji's tone came out lazily, and the cold air was rising all over his body. At the moment he chooses to use the fruit ability. There is no suspense about the outcome of this duel. The battle situation has been completely controlled by Aokiji. Really. Feeling the biting coldness coming from his back, Leifen narrowed his eyes slightly, and nodded involuntarily, expressing his deep agreement. It looks like, own current strength, the distance from the Admiral of Headquarters. And there is still a long way to go. The gap is really too big. Like a chasm, insurmountable, as expected of the Admiral of Headquarters. Incredibly strong. However, knowing that Admiral's strength is so strong, Leifen is not discouraged. On the contrary, on the contrary, he is quite confident. Instead of being weakened, his confidence has become stronger. He firmly believes. Just give him enough time to reach Admiral's realm, it's only a matter of time. Admiral, sooner or later, you will reach this level. Even surpasses Admiral, it's never impossible to override Admiral. When the time comes, fight Aokiji again, what will be the result? Let Leifen look forward to that day. He believes. This day is not too far away. Brother, don't you plan to tell me your real identity? If you don't say anything else, you will suffer a bit Wang Lai, okay? Aokiji's tone was full of confidence, and he spoke again. In his opinion, he has comprehensively controlled the trend of the battle situation. Leifen wants to come back. Non-existent. Could it be? Do you really think that the strength of his mighty marine admiral cannot be covered? Aside from pure sword fighting, Aokiji only needs to use his devil fruit ability to take down Leifen in front of him very easily. On this point, Aokiji can be 100% sure. When Aokiji's words just fell, Leifen was about to speak, when suddenly he glanced out of the corner of his eye, and saw a burly figure in a uniform of justice stepping on the moonwalk and rushing swiftly from afar, and infinitely enlarged from his own pupils. After seeing this figure, Leifen's original words were on his lips, but he suddenly chose to change his words. And on his face, there was a meaningful smile. Really, Aokiji Admiral, you can give it a try. Certainly, if you can do it, I don't mind, let me try the taste of suffering myself. Kindness. Aokiji looked surprised, looking very surprised. He couldn't figure it out. Where does Leifen in front of him have the confidence to say such arrogant words to himself who has fully grasped the trend of the battle at this moment? Is it possible that I really think that I dare not do it? Think about it. The cold air gradually rises from Aokiji's body, curling up. It's freezing cold. Spread the chill. Ice. Aokiji is preparing to activate the fruit ability. However, that moment, Aokiji's fruit ability was never activated before. A gigantic iron fist descended from the sky without warning. Very fast. Right in the pupils of Aokiji, Tekken Infinity enlarges the garden. 
Advertisement Chapter 107 Marine Admiral, was punched in seconds. Open black lens bracket 5 sevenths for customization close black lens bracket. Advertisement. Moment. Aokiji has experienced the feeling of hair standing on end. Danger. Extremely dangerous. A majestic sense of crisis swept across Aokiji's body, enveloping every cell in his body. Not good. Very bad. It's been a long time for Aokiji, and he hasn't felt this kind of feeling like being stared at by a beast, even his body has become a little stiff and dull. To know. He is the Admiral of Headquarters. What is Marine Admiral? Marine's highest combat power. The top combat power of the sea. These are the honors of Marine Admiral. Powerful. Absolutely powerful. This is the Admiral of Headquarters. The strength is strong enough to stand at the top of the Pyramid of the Sea, above everyone in the sea, and at the highest level of strength. This is Marine Admiral, but Aokiji never expected it. The majestic Admiral of Headquarters actually produces such a feeling of erect hairs. The strong sense of crisis and the tingling feeling of scalp sweeping through his body made Aokiji feel a little absent-minded and confused for a short time. What the hell? First a Marine Admiral, how could he feel such a strong sense of crisis in this ghostly place called the Capital of Seven Waters? My majestic Admiral of Headquarters. I'm afraid it's not fake. Aokiji had already forgotten. It was many years ago that I felt this sense of crisis, the feeling of being on pins and needles. He was still in Vice Admiral, not Admiral. But today. His strength is more than a hundred times stronger than back then. Moreover, Aokiji has successfully become the Admiral of Headquarters, unexpectedly today, he once again experienced the feeling of being completely enveloped by the boundless sense of crisis. How could Aokiji not be shocked by this? Admiral of Headquarters, the top battle force in the sea. Who can give oneself such a strong sense of crisis? Unexpected. I can't figure it out either. Racking his brains, Aokiji's thinking seemed to be in a mess. This strong sense of crisis even made Aokiji smell the breath of possible death. Who is it? Who can give himself such a majestic and exuberant threat of death? Aokiji doubted life on the spot. Emotion. I worked hard to climb to the Marine Admiral, and I also possessed the strength to venture into the sea. How come the sea water is so threatened here? What is this for? It's not scientific. This has seriously violated the common sense of worrying. Countless thoughts and thoughts floated through Aokiji's mind, making his body very stiff, his shoulders seemed to be firmly suppressed by a heavy boulder, and his movements became dull. Look out to see, who can give himself such a strong threat? Aokiji was confused. At any rate, my dignified headquarter, Admiral, can still be threatened with death. Did the four emperors show up in this shitty place? The capital of seven waters is only the first half of the Grand Line. Monsters like four emperors will appear here. At the moment when Aokiji's thoughts were crazily flying, that huge iron fist magnified infinitely from his pupils, at an extremely fast speed, which was as fast as lightning. It's so fast that Aokiji can't react, it's impossible to guard against. Without any psychological preparation, this iron fist has approached less than half a meter in front of Aokiji. This familiar move, why Mao reminds me of it. An old man with terrifying strength. No way. This this, Aokiji was shocked by this guess. Is it possible? Is it that scary old man? Countless thoughts entangled in Aokiji's mind, which made him unable to calm down, and seemed extraordinarily bewildered and stunned. His throat was dry, and he stared blankly at the fist expanding from his eyes. Crucial moment, Aokiji tries to use elementalization. Only elementalization can resolve this punch. Then, Aokiji immediately activated the fruit of grace, trying to use elementalization to block the punch. However, what Aokiji didn't expect was that this punch was really too fast. Before he could use elementalization in time, this huge iron fist was already close at hand, approaching his face. Can't escape. Aokiji's horrified discovery. Advertisement. He couldn't dodge the punch. The surrounding space seems to be sealed off. Although Aokiji was indeed not fully prepared mentally, he still didn't expect that he lost even the ability to respond to this punch. Simple. Rough. Just such a punch, it seems to seal off the space that Aokiji can avoid. Make Aokiji impossible to hide. The seemingly simple punch exudes an overwhelming terrifying aura condensed in it. Before the fist reaches, the wind of the fist has a strong tearing force, almost tearing apart the space. What are the simplest tactics and means of attack? It's as simple as it gets. Kill and even defeat opponents in the simplest and purest way. And this punch has reached this level. It is simple, but it is hard to guard against, and there is no way to hide. Hum. The space seems to be wriggling. The majestic and terrifying airflow squeezed Aokiji's face, making him stunned, his eyes filled with deep shock, and his heart was shaken endlessly. Just ask, with bare hands, but still able to bring such a majestic sense of oppression to himself, how many people can look at the sea? This moment, Aokiji seemed to understand something. He vaguely guessed, this iron fist aimed at him, who is the other party? Like, it's really him. Then, before Aokiji finished thinking about the result. Front, Aokiji blocked the punch with his fragile face. Boom, the huge iron fist hit Aokiji's face fiercely, and a terrifying distance was released from the fist in an instant, eroding Aokiji's face in an all-round way. This time, Aokiji took such an iron fist for real. Except that Aokiji didn't have any mental preparations, this iron fist came too fast, so fast that Aokiji's reaction nerves couldn't keep up. 
Yes, with a reaction nerve as strong as that of Admiral of Headquarters, he couldn't even dodge this punch. What an incredible thing this is. Even Aokiji himself did not expect that with his Admiral level strength, he would encounter such an extremely dangerous situation in the dilapidated ghost place of the capital of Seven Waters. Now, Aokiji could feel it very deeply. Force, terrifying and majestic power emerged from his face. Aokiji only felt that the whole face seemed to be smashed and exploded, the tingling almost distorted the facial expression, and the bridge of the nose was about to be crushed. Aokiji endured the tingling pain, with a sad and painful expression on his face. I simply forgot to hand over an important item to CP9 and the others. Then I returned to the capital of Seven Waters and found CP9, but who can tell me about it? Why am I going through these strange things at this moment? I just want to send an item. What are these things? Under the impact of this terrifying force, visible to the naked eye, Aokiji's body was swept by the huge force, and he flew backwards hundreds of meters away. Rumble. Finally, Aokiji was very embarrassed and crashed into a dilapidated building. The dilapidated buildings could not withstand the violent impact, and thus gradually collapsed, densely packed with cracks like spider webs, and the cracks spread rapidly. Rumble. With more and more cracks, the entire dilapidated building collapsed directly, and countless pieces of debris collapsed from the heights, smashing and falling madly, dumping this dark and spacious street. Countless broken wreckage scattered around the corners. And Aokiji's figure has fallen under the ruins of the dilapidated building, and no trace of his figure can be found anymore. Scattered stone remains. Pile up. As if to completely bury Aokiji, making this place a tomb. Also, after the dilapidated building collapsed, the floor tiles under their feet showed signs of violent shaking and trembling, shaking like an earthquake. The vibration frequency is very high. The surrounding ruined buildings, which were already pierced with hundreds of holes, were more or less affected, and pieces of the wall collapsed from the wall and fell down. The entire dark alley turned into a mess of ruins. Countless wall fragments were scattered in different corners. Disorganized. The smoke is everywhere. Smoke and dust billowed and curled up. After a brief shock. Moment. Here comes the atmosphere of silence again. Dead silence. Ask for flowers. No sound. Not a single bit of sound ceased to exist. Like a pool of stagnant water, like a deserted barren area, only the faint breathing and heartbeat of the people here can be heard, and there are no other sounds. The atmosphere is weird. Dense. Advertisement. Coldness. Piercing permeates the quartet. The cold wind is blowing, and there are many remaining ice blocks here, which keep the temperature here still extremely cold. Cold wind, bitingly cold. This moment, Lu Qi leaned his back against the wall, only feeling that his body became extraordinarily cold and chilly. The cold wind blows through the bones and pierces the heart. But he ignored all of this. Even, Lu Qi also directly ignored the pain in his body, his eyes were full of horror and horror, staring blankly at the place where Aokiji was knocked hundreds of meters away just now. Compared with the pain in the body, it is obvious that what happened in front of him attracted Lu Qi's attention more. His gaze couldn't move, he was dumbstruck, dumbfounded. Weird. Creepy. Shudder. The hairs on Lu Qi's body stood on end, and fear filled his heart, covering every cell in his body, and was dominated by deep fear. Grunt. Quite a while, Lu Kikai recovered a little bit, his throat rolled, and he couldn't help swallowing, but his expression still looked extraordinarily bewildered and shocked. Just now, what did he see? Zero. What? What's going on? Dignified Admiral of Headquarters, Aokiji Kuzan. Unexpectedly, he was punched for a second. With one punch, he was sent flying hundreds of meters away on the spot. How can that be? This, is this an illusion? I must be hallucinating. Lucy shivered. That's right, must be hallucination. That's the Admiral of Headquarters. High High's top battle strength, but what did he see just now? He actually saw that High High's top combat power was blown away by someone's punch. Fake. This must be fake. How could someone as strong as Marine Admiral be instantly killed by a single encounter? Impossible. There will never be such a phenomenon that frightens the world. Lu Qi's psychological endurance has seriously prevented him from accepting such horrible and shocking things that are happening now. Those scenes fell into his pupils, leaving a deep impression on him. But again, in any case, he couldn't accept what happened in front of him. This is too subversive cognition. Marine Admiral. The top combat power of the sea. The most powerful existence in the sea. But it is such a terrifying existence, just now, it was given a second by someone. If this gets out, who would believe it? Marine Admiral killed with one punch. How is this possible? Impossible. It is impossible for anyone to accept that this shocking worldly thing happened before their eyes. Does anyone really think that Admiral of Headquarters is just a bunch of weak chickens? Of course it's a ridiculous joke. Every Admiral of Headquarters is a terrifying existence standing at the top of the Sea Pyramid, as strong as a monster, and there is basically no possibility of being defeated one-on-one. -on -one. In short, any Admiral from the Headquarters is enough to call the wind and rain in the sea, stomp his feet, and the entire sky and sea will tremble violently. But today, just now, for a moment, his mood seemed to be swept by the surging waves, wave after wave, turbulently beating and constantly pounding his heart. The Admiral of Headquarters, as powerful as the top of the ocean. Admiral of Headquarters Aokiji Kuzan. A lot of emotional turmoil, crazily took root and entangled in Lu Qi's heart. Surprisingly, he was instantly killed by a single punch. Stamping one's feet is enough to shake the terrifying existence of the sea. Shock. Horrified. There is no way to fight back. 
Lu Qi's eyes were wide and round, and his expression was full of shock. Lu Qi witnessed it with his own eyes. All kinds of pictures that happened in front of him seriously shattered Lu Qi's worldview, cognitive view, etc. without exception. Incredible. Instant kill on the spot. Quote question mark exclamation mark quote. Panic. But the opponent, who was so simple and rude, was instantly killed by one punch. Advertisement. 